bows, and arrows if oil companies attempt to enter their territories. The Matsis of Brazil and Peru have been opposing Canadian-based Pacific Rubialis Energy for at least five years, with little support or attention from government agencies. Villagers told Intercontinental Cry that they would take up arms if their concerns are not heard. The Massey signed a declaration detailing the impact oil operations would have on the community and the environment. The Houston, Texas Police Department will investigate the actions of one of its officers caught on camera attempting to delete video footage after arresting a man who was open carrying a firearm. The unidentified man was stopped by an HPD officer and handcuffed for not having identification while carrying an AR-15. He was filming during the entire confrontation. After placing the man in the back of the vehicle, the officer can be seen attempting to delete the footage from the camera. And the well-known and widely used peer-to-peer -peer file sharing website, The Pirate Bay, has been knocked offline. That follows a police raid that was conducted on the company's Stockholm, Sweden premises. Today's broadcast of Liberty Beat made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. According to members of the 1998 University of Virginia graduating class, Governor Jim Gilmore's commencement speech to them continues to be a deep well of wisdom and guidance even 15 years after it was delivered. Classmates confirmed that while friends at other universities heard from such figures as Jimmy Carter, Kurt Vonnegut, and the Dalai Lama, the inspirational words of Virginia's 68th governor continues to profoundly inform their lives and actions. Whenever I face a dark moment in my life, I just think back to Governor Gilmore's speech and it almost instantly puts things back into perspective. It's like he said, go forward and be successful and achieve your hopes and dreams and aspirations. All I can say is I hope I've lived up to that incredible lesson. And in local news, a five-year-old figures he has about a year left of peeing at urinals with his pants all the way down. In other news, using the amount of toothpaste shown in commercials is a disgusting experience. A grizzled proofreader has seen it written both ways, and a cackling Warren Buffett burns his entire fortune in front of the nation. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind. 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. Ian is off this evening. So City council meeting. Uh, apparently there's uh, going to be some discussion about the city taking money from the DEA that the DEA stole from one of the local head shops when they did some kind of raid back in March. Interesting. Well, um, so it should be an interesting uh, meeting, but he gets a night off anyway, so right. this is it. Good luck to him. What I wanted to do tonight was talk about, you know, on Free Talk Live, sometimes we talk about philosophical issues. Sometimes we talk about feet on the ground stuff. I'd like to talk about uh, rights theory this evening. Okay. There is, uh, you've got an article, apparently some... Politician? Is that right? Uh, governor or might be former governor of Maryland. Call uh, a, this call happened. A politician. Th this happened before the election. I don't know if that seat was up for election this year or not, but yeah, politician. Yeah. So a politician believes that Wi Fi is a right. Yes. Tell me about it. So uh, Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, who some people are saying is a potential. Uh, Democratic White House contender in 2016, said in a recent interview that Wi-Fi is a human right. O'Malley, who is a two-term governor who has fundraised vigorously for Democrats running in midterm races this year, and some could argue whether or not that was beneficial or not since they wound up losing the uh, House and Senate. Well, they already lost the House, but they you know lost more seats in the House, lost Imagine the Senate. Imagine the uh, the utter waste of campaign dollars. It's just money thrown at advertising 
for the purpose of a zero-sum game. If your candidate loses by one vote, you're out. That's it. Well, more money wounds up getting spent every year on Halloween candy that I would say is an even bigger waste. At least you get the deliciousness in your mouth. No, because you're giving the candy to the other little annoying little people. They get the, uh, uh, the the deliciousness in their mouth. Yeah, so I lose either way. Don't give can- Halloween candy if you don't like it. Right, I don't, but like you know, it's expected that I do it. So if I don't do it, then I'm some sort of grouch, and if I do do it, you're then I wind anyway. up losing money. You're a grouch anyway, as evidenced by the fact that you said little annoying people. I, I don't need any more evidence. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, most kids are little annoying people. (laughs) But anyway, O'Malley, who has been doing uh, campaign fundraising, uh, told somebody on CNN recently that uh, he can relate to his 20-something daughters, saying, quote, I'm noticing a generational shift. While baby boomers were led to believe that sometimes our prosperity comes from separating from others, people under 40 believe that it will come from being closer to others. O'Malley said young people are no longer following the path of older generations who specialized in certain skills to, a, to attain a comfortable suburban life. Quote, young people have flipped that on its head. Younger people are choosing to live in cities. They realize that connections to each other are making us better. Young that Wi-Fi gone- is a human right. <laughs> that proximity is important to entrepreneurship, access to capital and talent and diversity. Young people have always lived in cities. Um, it's Mary Tyler Moore was about a young woman moving to the big city. Um, nothing unusual. Little House on the Prairie, they didn't live in the city. They lived in the middle of nowhere. Those aren't young people. They were young. Who? The kids. The kids were still kids. Right, and kids are young. Uh-huh. Ergo, young people don't always live in the city. Sometimes they live in the middle of nowhere in a little house on a prairie. This is the best you can do. Um, no, what I'm trying to say is, is the new modern condition leaving out, I don't know, 18th century uh, people looking for more freedom or something, going blind constantly. Um, Dying of dysentery. Whatever it is that they're doing. Uh, much more interested... In the people in, you know, this century, and I would say young people probably were moving as immigrants to bigger cities like New York right, and Boston. Because that's generally that's where the jobs are. So people want to live close to where they work. I I don't know many people that enjoy traveling three hours, you know, every day to and from work. Well, uh, indeed. And uh, so anyway, that that really doesn't have anything to do with the Wi-Fi, I suppose. But uh, it's really amusing that this guy would if if Wi-Fi is a human right, does that mean that all of the humans prior to the invention of the Internet were somehow de- or it, unwired Internet were deprived of this human right that they had? Or is this a new human right now that Wi-Fi has come around? I don't know. But here's my question. Of just because something is a human right, and we can argue all day, you know, what human rights are. Some people would say, you know, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Other people would throw in free speech, the right to bear arms, education, you know, medical care. So the question then becomes, just because you have a right to something, does it mean that someone else must pay to provide that right to you? Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't even, I, I think that's a misuse of the term right. Because anyway, let, let's go uh, to the phones here. We got uh, Christian Anarchist calling in. Gene, the Christian Anarchist, what's on your mind? Unless it's another Christian Anarchist. Gene, are you there? I got the phone pot up. Going once, going twice. Let's put him on hold. Up oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I don't know what happened with my phone. It might not have been I was you. shouting, <laughs> but <laughs> nothing was happening. What's on your mind? All right, well, I just I want to talk about Free Talk Live. You know, I've listened to Free Talk Live for a lot of long time, and I when do you think I you started? You oh, I don't know, two thousand five, I think. I think so too. And and I want to call out Ian. You listening, Ian? He is uh, m- maybe listening. He may listen later. Oh, he's not even there. No, no, no. Tonight. He's a, he's at a city council meeting tonight. Oh, darn it! You could talk about human rights instead. Is listening well, to free talk live a human right? 
No, but, you know, I've I, I called Saturday, and, you know, it's Free Talk Live, so it's supposed to be all about being able to say what you want to say, right? Yep. And, of course, I recognize that Free Talk Live is intellectual property. It's owned by Ian. He can do whatever he wants to with it. I recognize that. But I think it's kind of petty and maybe a little bit anti-Free Talk Live when I call in, and at the end of what I have to say, I say Merry Christmas. And guess what? I go back and download the archive. Somebody has edited out Merry Christmas, and no. I know who that somebody is. No, no, that didn't, no. That's, that's not what happened. Uh, whatever whatever occurred, it may have been that your call was dropped before you heard uh, Mary, the you know said Merry Christmas. It may be that, uh, you know, it's something. I can assure you that Ian did not take the time to go through the automated, uh, you know, downloading and archiving of the show to um, edit out your Merry Christmas, your second Merry Christmas, because well, I know your first one okay. got in. The other possibility then is that he hit the dump button live on the air and it didn't even go out over the broadcast. I don't know because obviously it. I wasn't listening to the broadcast. Right. You if know, it's not I, in the archive, then it wasn't on the air. Yeah. Okay. So then he hit the dump button. Nope. The uh, nope. The, the dump button does not control the archive. So if you were to drop the f bomb right now, the f bomb would go on the archive, but it would not go out of, over the air. He, he must have no hung conspir- up the phone yeah. as you were saying Merry Christmas. That's my guess. And he didn't oh, no. realize that you were uh, saying something. There's no conspiracy theory because, in this one. Because you can hear me talking after I said Merry Christmas, and there's a little silent spot there where it was dumped out. And actually, the silent spot is too short for Merry Christmas, so it was actually edited. I can You can download it yourself and look at it, or I can I, play it for you. I, 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 anyway, I'd be stunned I, if that was the the, uh, the case, because didn't you say Merry Christmas when you called in um, the, at, the, at the beginning of the call, too? And I said no, Merry I Christmas is in response. No, you were thinking of somebody else. No, no, I'm not. Now, well, what's Nobody going has to be... called in and said Merry Christmas to me this year. <laughs> well, what's going to be interesting, Mark, is... Uh, since one of us is going to be uploading the archive tonight, if for some weird chance that it's not in the archive when people download yeah. tomorrow, then, then something happens. Yeah, all, all six Merry Christmases will be edited out. <laughs> yeah, I, you, you should call in and talk to him about it later because uh, I, I, to me, he'll this, be here tomorrow. Yeah, I don't believe it for a second. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the right. call. Thank you. Yep, eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream back pain cream at Walgreens. You've heard of Black Friday doorbuster deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidator's Floor Buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one-time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre-finished hardwoods, hand-scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top-quality laminates, and get 26-month special financing. Plus, get even more Floor Buster discounts in our stores. The sale ends Tuesday. So these deals will not wait until after the holidays. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Free Talk Live, the show where anyone can call about whatever they want. 
And we do mean anyone. World fast for peace. I don't understand what I don't understand what she said. If the whole world fasted like Gandhi, we would see great results for this struggle to survive a world order. There's never going to be any peace. You sound like you're on drugs, dear. <laughs> sounds like it sounds like you're, you're, you're a, a flower anyone, child. You're pumped any up on drugs. Any woman who doesn't agree with you is on drugs or something. I may be a racist and anti-Semite, but I have all my faculties. Well, racism and sexism are one. You're one of those love mankind, love thy neighbor. And uh, I am too. Here. And thank you both for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. That is the one thing I can certainly agree with uh, the lady on. Normally, I can't understand a word that she says, but I think <laughs> I think Scott, the, uh, the bigot, did interpret her correctly and that she is interested in peace, and I like that. Free Talk Live. Seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Lauren Rumpler, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl. And Daryl. Yeah, that's right, Lauren, rolling in here. You know, it's snowy out on the roads uh, of New Hampshire. and Well, I've had a busy day, Mark. Okay. You know, it's been a crazy day. All right, it's fine. <laughs> Plus, I'm, I'm just, I'm so important. I have so many important things to do. <laughs> Here's an important thing to do is check out In Freedom's Cause. It is the liberty gift of the season. It is, uh, it's a two-CD set of audio, and... This isn't just your average uh, story. This is, it sounds like a movie that's been ripped to CD. It's really awesome. There is no movie that's attached to it, but you'd think it was. It's like a movie playing out on your mind. I heard Ian listening to this a couple of weeks ago, and I thought he was watching a movie you would really think loudly. It was. Yeah. It's, uh, it's got big name actors and actresses James Cosmo of Braveheart, Billy Boyd of Lord of the Rings, Skandar Keens of Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, Joanne Froggett of Downton Abbey. So big names, a big production value. It has its own score that was produced for it. It is historically accurate in that, uh, you know, I mean, there's there's a fictional aspect. There's two young people in it that uh, you sort of uh, you watch progress through the, the, the story. But you get historically accurate occurrences as opposed to, say, Braveheart, which is kind of like the... Uh, uh, you know, historically, uh, you know, mildly touching on accuracy, uh, the meanderings of the mind of Mel Gibson. I love the pagan king part, as though uh, Longshanks was a, you know, not Christian. Well, and something that's interesting about the Braveheart was it wasn't necessarily all from the mind of Mel Gibson. There is an old Scottish folk tale that is similar. But it's recognized in Scotland as being an inaccurate representation of history. I see. Well, the the hanging of the chiefs uh, occurs at an entirely different part of Braveheart than it does in um, you know history. Uh, Skandar, excuse me, uh, here in in Freedom's Cause. Anyway, go go take a look. Um, you can get. There's a great deal for Free Talk Live listeners. You can get fifty percent off. Uh, there's a family four pack. It's in freedomscause.com. You're going to love this. The kids in your love are, uh, life are going to love it. Uh, it. You buy the family four pack, you get four gifts to give out. It's an awesome deal. In freedomscause.com. Use coupon code FTL to save 50%. In freedomscause.com. Coupon code FTL. 
Why Pfizer, right? Yeah, so that's the claim by Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, who apparently is you know going to no longer be governor as of January. I, I can't I say I miss him after this. Don't know if there's you know term limits there in Maryland or if he lost an election, but you know he he's not going to be governor anymore. But he said that Wi-Fi is a human right. Uh, talking about young people, uh, let let me go back and reread the full quote. Young people have flipped that on its head, that being, you know, moving out to the suburbs. Younger people are choosing to live in cities. They realize that connection to each other are making us better, that Wi-Fi is a human right, that proximity is important to entrepreneurship, access to capital and talent and diversity. There is an opportunity there for us as a nation to embrace that new perspective. And apparently, the United Nations declared Internet access a human right in a 2011 report saying that Internet facilitates the realization of a range of other human rights. So this is what I want to talk about. Is Wi-Fi a right? And not just Wi-Fi, but to me, uh, a human right, a right is a function of ownership. I own my body, therefore I have the right to use it. I have the right to dance on my own property, if that's what I wish to do, or the property of somebody who allows dancing, for instance, um, or sing. Or, or public property. Believe in my own mind, whatever religion I wish to believe, and, yes. and those sorts of things. Those are rights. Yep. And that was a right for the first human who walked on two legs, first hominid that walked on two legs, and it's the right now. But I believe that you can't have a right of Wi Fi today if the first hominids didn't have a right to it, too. I would argue with you, Mark. Go ahead, please do. All right, here we go. All right, so hear me out. I'm listening. All right. So a right is not necessarily something that you are granted access. Uh, it's just your you if you acquire it, you can use it. It's like a gun. Right. So you don't you're not given the gun. You're just you know you're allowed to have a gun and use it. Right. But um, education is a right, and we're supposed. We're told that you know we are supposed to be forced okay. to pay and provide you're, that you're for arguing, other people. Yeah, you're, so you're arguing the other point. That's not the point I'm arguing. Well, what, what I'm the point that I'm arguing is that if some rights are supposed to be paid for by force, then why are other rights, such as the right to bear arms, the right to clean water, you know, th those are things that. The chairman of Nestle says that I don't have a right to clean water. I mean, I think we can all agree that rights should not be paid for by force. I mean, okay. but I'm going to argue the other point, which is the more important point, which is against Mark's point. Go ahead. So you are stating that because the Neanderthals who didn't know about the Internet. Neanderthals. Oh, God. Really? Jeez. Yes. Jeez, Daryl. Okay. Anyway, um, this is going to be a really interesting show. So, um... Picky Daryl. Ne Neanderthals did <laughs> um, not have internet. So therefore, um, present day individuals don't. Now, I would argue that Neanderthals argue were not that actually because, humans, so therefore they were not to be given human rights. Because it exists now, no. Because it exists now, you therefore have a right to access it. Here's the thing: is that the internet. Holds information. Okay. And information is important to life sustainment, especially information that a wide, huge population has access to. Okay. If you don't have access to information that most people do, uh -huh. you are at a severe disadvantage in regards to life sustainment. Now, again, keep in mind that it is like the gun. We don't give it to you. You have to purchase it yourself, but you do have a right to use it because it is necessary for life, life sustainment. Knowledge well, is very necessary for life sustainment. I would say that that falls in the realm of, I mean, I can believe you have the right to drive your car if you own your car, yes. but that's not, I, I think that that's a, it's not a human right in the sense that So you, you have a right ownership, to travel. Ownership and uh, really has uh, you have a right I'd say to travel. It falls in the negative rights category. I would say that it's not like you know you have a right to you know 
I say it gets confusing. Food, I mean, because that's, you know, paid for by somebody else. But that's the thing is that if you pay for it, you have a right to use well, it. You have a you have a right to eat, but you don't have a right to food. You have a right to surf your Internet, but you don't have a right to Internet, I guess, is what I would say is, um, you know, like this, this falls into the category of what you have the right to do because you have purchased it. Rights, to some extent, when people think about them are. I deserve this for free. Like that's that's the un, that's well, the footnote. Well, then they're thinking about rights wrong. <laughs> There's positive and negative rights. Right. I would say as long as you're considering negative rights, um, in the negative rights aspect, you do have a right to the internet. In the positive rights aspect, you don't. You have to no, tell what internet positive and negative be, rights are. Po- oh, I'm sorry. Negative rights are that which um, don't are are just the right to not have things done to you. Positive rights are those in which s- some action must be taken in order for you to obtain that thing. Right. If I have the right to medical care, then some med- somebody in medical has to give me that uh, yes, service. somebody has to give something up for a positive right. Okay. What do you think? Wi-Fi a right? What are human rights? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. (coughs) But don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four-herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. Herbalhealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, Government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit, or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. 
They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. Here That's on, scary. Yeah, it could it, it, it could happen. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. It's Mark with you, and Lauren Rumpler, aka Objectivus Girl, and Daryl, aka the Emperor of the Universe. <laughs> is that so? Oh, I, I decreed oh. myself that a long time ago. <laughs> I just hardly ever actually use it, but since she's your, doing the you know, AKA thing, I, I will You know, too. if we could just call ourselves anything at this point, uh, since, you know, that's already what the state's doing anyway. Um, so um, I now declare myself ruler of the world. You're all free. Do whatever uh, you want. As long as you refer to me as Big Daddy Rhino Schwantz, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Wait. You're all free. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Coffee.freetalklive.com if you want to get a free pound of coffee. Uh, there we have Shade Grown, 100% organic and top 1% grade Arabica bean coffee. It is, uh, it's it's great coffee. I drink it every day. And the one bad thing about BuzzBox Coffee is it will ruin you for regular coffee. Uh, go there, get a free pound, check it out. We're not just giving away a free pound of coffee. It's a subscription program. You can cancel it at any time, get your free pound and go if that's what you want to do. But if you continue to get your coffee there, not only will you have all your little coffee problems solved with a new upgrade in coffee, but you will be helping us help people around the world. Because uh, for every 10 people who get their coffee per month at uh, Kiva we're there, we're able to give another micro loan through Kiva.org. And I just gave out three more. Uh, yesterday it was pretty exciting and it's so you're you're now into the b countries i am into the b countries coffee.freetalklive.com to get your free pound of coffee you pay the shipping we'll pay for the pound coffee.freetalklive.com let's go to richard calling in from california listening on lrn.fm richard you're on free talk live oh what's what's going on um i just uh I've, i've been listening to your show for a while and uh I was really impressed by uh, Daryl's uh, parking ticket trial. You know which one? Like, I, I've had a couple. Uh, well, the, the you won the one where like Ian was like kind of being rude to the. Well, he, he didn't wasn't being rude, but he was like yeah, nice chai ladies. Like that one where you won on the uh, meter calibration. Are you saying that Ian sounded smug in dealing with someone? No, I, I mean I would never suggest that. But, <laughs> really? I mean. Some, I will. Yeah. I, uh, well, yeah. I, yeah I, then I, I can I, be I first. Yeah. Well, how is he doing though? Like, because he did a whole bunch of stuff, and then they had that like uh, that uh, that like special unit dude like roll up at his house and take him away for voter fraud. And like, so, how's he doing? He's got like a twelve or fourteen month prison sentence over his head, and. Yeah, uh, it, it wasn't yeah. voter fraud. It was unsworn, uh, falsification. unsworn falsifications and prohibitions of the motor vehicle code because okay. he had two well, valid identifications. Basically, because a government bureaucrat uh, helped him to, uh, you know, violate some obscure aspect of the law. Uh, right. Around the same time that his name was officially changed, and he went to go get a, an identification, and they said, "Well, we need." All of these other documents that you provided us originally that have been changed with your new name. And Ian said, I don't have any of those. And so then he went back the next day with the old name and got the identification card. And they said, well, you lied to us on one of these two forms. So that's the idea. They threw a beat on him and they lit him up pretty much. So he's got like 
12 or 14 months hanging over his head. And, yeah, it's a suspended you know, I've sentence. I've never met him, but just by his voice, I, I don't think he would do all that good on the inside. Mark well, he spent 60 days about. in jail um, for the— um, Yeah, but that's county. I don't think he'd do anything know. more than county anyway. Yeah, they, they don't put well, you I in the state prison. They, they don't put you in state well, prison unless it's for longer head. than one year. Right. But with that over his head, like, how's he doing? Like, how's he handling all that? Fine. Like, that would be a lot for me to handle. Doesn't seem to affect him. It's the not list. the first time that he's had one or more years hanging over his head. Ian spent uh, more than half of his adult life with a suspended sentence over his head due to uh, civil disobedience. I, I really don't think there's a problem. All right. Well, I appreciate the show and everything. And uh, what about the parking ticket? Yeah. Hey, he well, just no, wanted I to congratulate me on awesome. winning. Okay. Like I, that is just awesome. And you know, I, I, there's a town like when I go to the co- like we live hours from the coast, but when we go to the coast, they have a meter witch there, <laughs> and she like preys on the. Uh, like, mostly it's the people working at the place, but then they hit the tourists, and, oh, yeah. you know, and I'm a tourist if I get a parking ticket and never come back. But I've been sharing your video with people who deal with the meter witch, and I've got a toddler in the back. But oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been sharing their, the video of uh, just take it to court, you know, and if enough people do it, maybe they'll just cut the meters down because where I live, we don't even have traffic lights. Or well, what they meters. do a lot of times for people that aren't labeled activists if you go and request a court date, then they'll just throw it out. Dismiss it, yeah, to save their time. And that that's that's what I'm trying to share with uh, some of the people that, that you know live in the city. That's the plan. Well, I mean, we're, we, don't, we don't have traffic lights or parking meters, and we don't really have any problems. Like, we don't have horrendous accidents. And Well, there has know, to be a way to manage parking, parking, but I just don't think that meter uh, maids are necessarily the way to do it. Richard, do, I thank you for the call. Um, you know, I mean, it seems like a lot of money. In a lot of places, parking enforcement's running in the red. But what was this about your trial that was so awesome? Okay, so I got a ticket uh, about a year and a half, almost two years ago. And what had happened was the meter did not give me the amount of time that it should have. Like, you know, the the clock ran a little fast. And I should have had another couple of minutes on the meter Uh and got the ticket. And I took it to court, challenged it. They couldn't prove what time I put money in, what time it expired, any of that. uh, Because, you know, they don't calibrate these things. Okay. Uh, they actually will tell you somebody had filed a Freedom of Information request asking for calibration records and got back, we don't have that document, uh, we don't calibrate our meters. And they couldn't prove in court that they calibrated, they couldn't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that I was guilty, so it's a good judge way to take it. said uh, Darryl, not guilty. I do have a question for you. Yes. Did you use protection when you effed the state? <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> No, I did not. Uh oh. Wi Fi. Uh oh. <laughs> you too. Uh-oh. Yeah, so uh, I, I think we're pretty much done with the article about it, but not the overall discussion because uh, I, I think that this really opens up a bigger discussion. And I had mentioned briefly about the chairman or CEO of Nestle a couple of years ago saying that you do not have a right to clean water. And I think that's a really interesting question. You know, what is, what are rights? What aren't they? I think I know, I think I've got it nailed down, but a lot of people do not agree with me. If well, you can acquire it, you can use it. I think that's what a right is. Well, I, I would turn this around because as as you acquire it legally. The, the yes. reason that he said this don't steal was because don't be the there, state. there were allegations that Nestle was polluting the water. Sure. And he said, well, people don't have a right to clean water. So I would turn it around and say that nobody has a right to pollute the water. Yeah, I think you're responsible for your actions that affect other people. So uh, if, if, for instance, I buy a piece of property that's mm. down, well, I, I, I'd love to hear it, Lauren, but let me, let me put the analogy up. So um, Daryl and I live on a mountain. I live in the lower part of the mountain. Daryl lives in the higher part of the mountain. 
Okay. Water collects as it runs down the mountain into a stream that turns into a or into a brook that turns into a stream or whatever. Well, it would if I didn't have 50 gallon buckets off the side of my roof collecting rainwater. That may be the case. Um, you may you may affect my water that comes. So therefore, down. you but only really have. There's really nothing you can do to stop water from rolling down that mountain. You can uh, use water. You can pump it into the ground at some point or another. It still rolls down the water, whether it's <laughs> on top of the ground or underneath the ground. It's rolling down that mountain. Unless it's in my 50-gallon bucket. But, and, yes, until you use it, and then you have to go elsewhere. I, I have more questions here, and uh, try to get one of them past Daryl. 855-450-3733. Your questions about rights or comments or anything else, for that matter. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. <laughs> Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. The experts at web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. You want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com 
You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Lauren Melpler, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl. And Daryl. 855-450-FREE. You're going to do some shopping this holiday season. Please do that shopping online, the online shopping you do, through shop.freetalklive.com. Whatever online shopping you you do. Using your human rights Wi-Fi. That's right, the Wi-Fi that you have a human right for. Eight um, is all you have to do is go there. Uh, It's shop.freetalklive.com, whether it's Amazon, uh, Walmart. uh, We've got a few other links there. When you do your shopping there, gives us a little spiff in the process. It's shop.freetalklive.com. You get the same service, the same pricing, the same everything. Shop.freetalklive.com. So we're talking, I had an analogy going here that uh, we're talking about human rights. And I would say that, uh, let's see, Daryl lives on a mountain. I live on the same mountain. He lives upstream from me. The water rolls down the mountain uh, from him to me. And then one day he decides the best thing he can do with his uh, his uh, human waste is to begin dumping it into the stream. Um, So the stream that I had been enjoying and perhaps even, you know, had a dug well and was even living off of it. Yeah. yeah. Drinking. And I I, I've had a dug well at a house. Life sustainment. Yeah. And so now he's decided to sort of change the conditions of things and begin dumping sewage. in in Well, a thousand miles downstream, wells are pooing in the water. What's the difference? And Daryl doesn't think that you have a right to do this. So you have uh, the the if you put if you use a septic system and put things through a leach field, you have created a giant water filter. And I I, I will agree with you that all water comes from space and has been here, uh, you know, potentially three billion, uh, two billion, a billillion years it's ago. It's gross, in other words. It's uh, the product. It has been through fishes and animals and all it's kinds of full things. Full of dinosaur pee. That's exactly right. <laughs> and but. It's been filtered to the point that we would consider it to be consumable, um, whereas just dumping some raw sewage a few a, a few feet up the, the line, not so consumable, makes for a big problem. And you would argue that he doesn't have aggression. a right to do this. That's an aggression against me and my property. Okay. I would argue that he does. Daryl, do what do you think? I would say that, no, and the, the analogy that I made about, you know, Wells and in the water that that was a joke like i i certainly don't think that you know if it's a small creek that no i don't have the right to okay. put my human waste in it let if me it's tell you the mississippi river then you know yeah i'm gonna pee in the mississippi river oh, if i'm so swimming apparently and... size matters now i'm gonna tell you <laughs> don't let anybody tell you it doesn't says the lady <laughs> um I'm going to tell you that A, size does not matter. It's the motion of the ocean. No, no, no. Uh, See, the the, the reason that I mentioned the here. size of the right? body of water is because then we're talking parts per million. It literally million. Yeah. is because actually, uh, you know, running, uh, moving water actually is cleaner. But anyway, yes. the point is, is that you have a right parts per million. to dump. You have a right to dump water down that stream that's flowing into your neighbor and even maybe keeping them alive. Now, here is the thing. Here's here's the big caveat to that. Now, remember, there may come a time when your neighbor controls a resource that you two share or you need help from your neighbor. Guess how your neighbor is going to respond if you polluted a stream? Poorly. You have a right to do it because it is on your property and you are able to use the water. But once it goes However, off your property, that's when I say that you you have then polluted property. Yes, but it went property. through your property first. Okay. Now, you have a right, but it is already 
internally incentivized for mm-hmm. you not to do it. Any rational person would not do it. Just like any company, any rational company in a free market system, a truly free market system would never pollute the water because the ramifications of the market would be so bad and severe, with, especially with the technology of the internet. The word would spread it, it would be vast. You would lose your company if you polluted water. Um, BP would be gone. Yeah, but I they're suspect- protected by the government. So they're still right. around because they can screw up as much as they want. BP's and the government protected will save their butts. because of Exxon. Most people don't realize that. And Exxon is protected by the government too. Right. But so- no, when the Exxon Valdez incident happened, there were no federal caps on how much an oil company. Uh, was you know limited to what they had to pay if an incident happened. After the Exxon Valdez incident, Congress decided, oh, well, we can't have them paying all of the money, so we're going to cap it. And because of the Exxon Valdez, the Congress put a cap, and that cap stayed the same. And so take- when the BP Deep Horizon thing happened, then... The amount that BP and had to pay for cleanup. A federal source taxing people or, or penalizing people through money is not a good way to do things either because then the rich people get to do whatever they want. It's about the when you have to answer to the market, your funds that you are receiving are directly affected. The market is always a harsher mistress than the government will ever be because people are mean. And if you do something wrong that they don't like and you don't please the market, you don't bow down to the, the majesty that is the market, you are dead in the water. Water. Well, so I want to talk that about this. That polluted, polluted water. That you just polluted. The, and that's why you're dead because I, I you I want to know why you water. have the right to uh, you know, pollute water that's on your land as it's flowing through. It's kind of like air and water. I mean. I, I, well, anything is on your property. You're allowed to do with it. As so, you if, uh, I mean. Whoa, whoa. Anything. Thing, anything is on your property. People. Um, technically it is your property. If they don't like what you have to do, what you're going to do to them on their property, you probably shouldn't be on their property. Okay, so are, hold on, hold on. Are, are you, you defending- You can shoot somebody for coming on your property. Hold you on. kill somebody. Are, are you defending people that have rape dungeons? Uh, because they are bringing people onto their property. No, but they And they came, are doing what they, they please to them. They people on there involuntarily. Now, if the person had come on voluntarily and they had raped them, then, you know, this is really crazy. that person's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it is really, 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 really a I, creepy conversation we're I having right now. I think um, you're only allowed to use force commensurate with the aggression that's been brought against you. So if somebody, so a, a, a little girl comes onto your property to pick flowers, for instance, uh, this is a small level aggression and you're not allowed to, you know, you're allowed to escort her off, call mm-hmm. her parents. And remember well, the, the, the Wednesday night co-host has written a blog that says that you're well within your rights to put a bullet in her head. You could. And that's the thing is you are in your rights. However, remember the ramifications for your action. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The market, the people that you are surrounded by are going to not only ostracize you, but make your life very difficult. If you go on their property, anybody's property within that radius and you shot a little girl that was just picking flowers, I I, I highly predict that you are going to receive about the same treatment. So are you I would defending leave my property if I were you? Are, are you defending the ability to homestead a circle around someone's house to prevent them from leaving their property? What? No, because in this case scenario, I'm assuming that there is no public property and therefore all property is owned. So you couldn't literally not leave your property without entering someone else's property. Um, th- th- Daryl, just to in, in defense here, uh, the fact is is that Free Talk Live is an open forum so that we can have lots of different ideas. I don't agree with this at all, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know anybody can bring on any opinion they want and uh, call in with it. Oh, I'm not saying that she can't have her opinion. I'm just trying to find out what she's over really here disagree? supporting. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, really? So water yeah. water goes through your property. It is on your property. It is not part of your property. So therefore, when you pollute it, uh, you are willingly and no knowingly uh, polluting my property, which is downstream. And it's the same with air. You know, I just turned on my mustard gas machine, and uh, I only put uh, mustard gas on my property. Sure, it wafted out into other people's property and killed all of them and their kids and their livestock and whatever. But it's not really that big of a deal. Now it's, it's an untenable position. Um, so. So, no, I do not. Uh, right, it, it would be akin to saying, you know, I, I'm going to put up these targets and I'm going to target shoot on my property. Granted, the target is three inches away from Mark's property line. Mark's house is five feet from the property line. The target is right oh, where his bedroom numbers. window is. I'm just target shooting. <laughs> it's not my fault that I shot Mark and his family. I was just target shooting. Mark, what would be the response you would give if somebody polluted your water since they don't have a right to do it? Well, what, I would, what should be the ramification? Mostly, I just want them to stop. Uh, after that, we can discuss uh, any damage. But that's damages. just it. They don't want to stop. They think they have a right. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. I'm Mark Stevens of the No Stay Project. And are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, December 11th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.07 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,220 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $355. Antiwar.com reports a 6,000-plus page Senate CIA torture report followed by a 540-page heavily redacted summary is an awful lot of content, but those expecting to see the Senate follow up are likely to be very disappointed. Senator Richard Burr from North Carolina, the incoming Senate Intelligence Committee chair, shrugged the whole thing off as a footnote in history saying there would be no hearings or any further action, adding that he did not see the point. Senator John McCain from Arizona has more of a problem with torture than most, and while he warned about the lack of effectiveness and immorality of the practice, even he didn't suggest there would be a serious chance for policy changes. One of the only senators pushing for reforms was Senator Jay Rockefeller from West Virginia, but he's retiring at the end of the month. The White House, however, is insisting changes are possible, but, quote, they may not be the kind of changes we can announce. 
Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Reuters reports, Hong Kong authorities prepared on Thursday to clear part of the city's main pro-democracy protest site that has choked roads leading to the most economically and politically important district for more than two months over calls for free elections. The mainly peaceful protests have represented the most serious challenge to China's authority since the 1989 pro-democracy demonstrations and bloody crackdown in and around Beijing's Tiananmen Square. Hundreds of police arrived in the Admiralty District next to the government building early on Thursday to help enforce an injunctive order against street barricades erected by protesters after a request from a Hong Kong bus company. A 20-year-old student, Lucy Tang, said, Some of my friends are prepared to stay till the last moment, but I will walk away. I will for sure miss this place. It has become my home. A large yellow banner bearing an umbrella and the words, We'll be back, was draped in the center of the highway where protesters have camped out with similar messages scrolled on roads and posted on tents. Next to a base of the Chinese People's Liberation Army in the heart of the city, a huge orange banner erected across the barricades said, it's just the beginning. More than 10,000 people massed at the democracy protest site on Wednesday evening, even as authorities warned people to stay away before the final clearance. The former British colony returned to Chinese rule in 1997 under a one country, two systems formula that gives the city more autonomy and freedom than the mainland and a goal of universal suffrage. The protesters are demanding open nominations in the city's next election for chief executives in 2017. Beijing has said it will allow a vote in 2017, but only between pre-screened candidates. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. CNET reports peer-to-peer -peer file sharing site The Pirate Bay was knocked offline Tuesday in the wake of a police raid on the company's premises in Stockholm, Sweden, and the subsequent seizure of a server and other equipment. Paul Pinter, the police national coordinator for IP enforcement, said in a statement, There has been a crackdown on a server room in Greater Stockholm. This is in connection with violations of copyright law. The raid comes barely a month after the arrest of the website's co-founder on the Thailand-Laos border on November. 3rd, and only a couple of days behind Google Play's takedown of a number of apps related to the Pirate Bay. Several other sites have also been knocked offline, including the Pirate Bay's forum, image hosting website, and their text hosting website. However, by Wednesday morning, the Pirate Bay was already back online at a Costa Rican top-level domain. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The call just came in over the police radio. Yeah, yeah, right here. It's just me, my producer, Glenn, and a camera. Buckle up. We don't know where in the mall the shots were fired. We don't know what's going on. This looks like a security guard. I'm going to see what, see what he knows. Turns out he wasn't a security guard. He was just a guy in a blue suit. We still have zero information. Where do we go next? I have no idea. My gut says that way. Come on. I see an ambulance. Confirmed ambulance site. You'll see this space by the curb where an ambulance was parked just moments ago. Do you have any idea where the shooter is? I was being stonewalled by police, but I couldn't let that stop me. I spoke to a woman who said that she saw a man being escorted through the mall by police. Could this be the shooter? According to the description, he was a male, aged somewhere between 20 and 60. He's either Caucasian or part Latino or something like that. He was wearing some kind of a jacket. I wrote something else here, but he got smudged. However, that information later turned out to be false. The shooter, if there is one, remains at large. Needless to say, our thoughts are with the victims here today, if there are any, which we don't know yet. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. For those of you who wish to know, Ian is off this evening, so... 
<clears throat> you kind of got the B team here with uh, Mark. Uh, I'm not part of the B team. <laughs> I'm part of the A team, and this is objectivist girl Lauren Rumpler. <laughs> and Daryl. You can be part of the B team I'm if you want, the, Mark. <laughs> the second chair is what we refer to uh, my position. <laughs> Eight five five four five zero three seven. He's three, the three. second string if quarterback. If you mean B as in bodacious, then I am definitely on the B crew, though. That's the price, precisely. Bootylicious, I, mean. yeah. I the, believe, the, is the term. This is a body too bootylicious. There's no doubt that I'm on the bootylicious <laughs> team. Um, <laughs> Lauren, you were telling me uh, off the air about an adventure you had this week, uh, this oh today, my actually, goodness. polluting all the water. Now, uh, that was I last, didn't pollute last hour. any water. I'm a capitalist. I don't Kay. pollute water. Okay. So, this morning, I decide I'm going to get up early and go to kickboxing, you know, to, which I paid for. Um, and so, I get up, I go work out, you know. So, I go to drive home, and I'm getting on the on-ramp on the bridge to head back to my apartment. And there's cops there, and one of the cop cars pulls away. Clearly has somebody in the back seat, so somebody just got arrested. Okay. And there's also a car on the side. Now, the tow truck in front of me backs up and gets in the way, and after a few minutes of watching him try and maneuver it so that, you know, because it was pulled all the way to the curb, so it was going to take a really long time to move this car and get it on, on the thing because, it you know, it had to be tilted several times. So the point is, is that it was taking a really long time, and, you know, I just got out of kickboxing. There's a lot of... Your legs feel like Jello. There's a lot of adrenaline going on during kickboxing. So I get out of kickboxing and I'm just, you know, like I feel like I could run a marathon even though I just worked out really hard. Got it. <clears throat> so I I get out of the car because I'm irritated and, you know, go over to the cop car. You're on the interstate? No, no, okay. no. I was on an on-ramp waiting, oh, okay. waiting to get on the bridge. And so I go over to the cop car and I go, excuse me, um... Some of the people in this line, I don't know if you're aware, they work for a living. Oh, God. <laughs> and um, they'd like to get to work. And if you could just help everybody back up. I know that it's raining, you know, but if you could just get out of the car, put your coffee down, and uh, help people back up so that they can go, you know, the other way. You know, protect and serve. Like, could you do one of those two things? Did I you know- call him a shiftless government bureaucrat and no. remind him that you pay a salary to? No, no. And, but and, I, and did I told you him- end by saying, that'd be great. <laughs> I, I said, I said, you know, I understand that extortion is a very important oh, part God. of your job. And, uh, but it's being done and the extortion is being handled. <laughs> but if you could just pretend to do your job for like a few seconds just to get us moving so that I can go to work so that you have money to steal from me later. How much um, was your bond? <laughs> none. I They didn't arrest me. I have no idea why. So uh, I was like, if you could do that, that'd be great. And so. Okay. So do, do you know, you know what I see better. in my head? It gets better. It gets better. It gets better than Bill Lumberg yelling yeah. at a police officer. Yeah. Who's yeah. Bill Lumberg? So they go, they go, Office ma'am. space. Of course, here, correct response. Ma'am, we're going to need to ask you to go back to your car. And I was like, I was like, are you asking me or telling me? In other words, am I going to end up in uh, handcuffs and in a cage like an animal if I don't go back to my car? And they're like, like, Ma'am, we're we're telling you, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, well, you know, if you could just attempt to help these working individuals get back to, you know, get back up so that they can go to their jobs, uh, that would be great. I know that that you don't really have much to do because it's New Hampshire and there are no black people for you to oh, choke God. out. Really? <laughs> but um, if you could just, you know, pretend to do your job for a few minutes, <laughs> oh, and um, that'd be great. So that did, I could... did you also tell the guy to put the cover sheet on the TPS reports? <laughs> no. This wasn't some imaginary conversation no, you had no, in the I car with yourself afterwards. No, I literally had okay. this conversation. I couldn't even believe I did this because I'm somebody that just, you know, and I spent like, Probably a good 10 minutes sitting on my car, holding onto my steering wheel, you know, doing the the, the calming, you know, it's going to be okay, Lauren. It's going to be okay, Lauren. It's going to be okay, Lauren. And I finally just, I snapped, you know. I've had enough. I really, I've had enough. And, you know, I'm just trying to get to work. And they're sitting in their car just doing absolutely nothing when, you know, it wouldn't be hard to go back there with their little, the, uh, 
light thingies. Hold on, they, they were doing absolutely nothing. They were drinking coffee you know, the and was, not was getting raining. rained on. Yeah, I know. It was rain, and it might melt their skins since they're all evil. Well, I don't know what the uh, was occurring there. I can tell you when I have to deal with motor vehicle accidents, uh, well, when I'm doing it, is, is that the, the police and firefighters do their level best to get everybody through the situation as quickly as we can. They're usually on a major thoroughfare since one of those travels through the town in which I reside. Uh, but That's I, a major thoroughfare? It's a uh, state road. What do you want? Okay, I, I it's a state road, but... Tens of thousands of I people travel I still say the choking week. comment was the highlight of the whole day. <laughs> that there's <laughs> another mean? state road just a couple of miles away from you that every time it floods, there's big gaping holes that takes the state months to fill. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, the it, that- it has to do with, I would not describe just because it's a state road that it's a quote-unquote major thoroughfare. Okay, so there aren't that many major... Th- it, it, for, when you say a major thoroughfare, it is qualified it's by the metro. It's a decently busy road. The, the metro in which it resides, There right? is no metro in the entire state of New Hampshire. Okay. I promise you it wouldn't have been hard for them to go back and get the, the cars behind uh, my, me to back up. It my favorite would not is the, have been the guy with the redneck attitude, a, a, accent uh, complaining about how we have too many small towns in New Hampshire. Well, well, our towns are just big enough for me, Daryl. <laughs> you know, so what was I this? Hate you. What was this thing? <laughs> so, by the way, what when I pulled away, when I finally got out of there, I'm I I did I did this a nice little choking. Say on the mic. When yeah. I walk, yeah. What was the choking all about? Oh, I was the yeah. was like Eric Garner. I can't, uh, I can't breathe. breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you also say hands up, don't shoot? No, no, I didn't think of that. But then uh, I got to tell you, um, there was an event I would have missed if this hadn't happened. So I drove to my apartment, right? This is a very eventful morning. So I drove to my apartment and I I start... I start the pulling police were up. waiting there for you. No, to take no, your no, okay. no, no. So there was a guy just walking down the street, and he starts to slow down as I'm pulling up, and he stops, and I'm like, oh, oh, this could, this could be bad, you know, because you know I don't know this person, uh-huh. and so you know I'm like, I don't have any weapons to protect myself. Boxing gloves. So I grabbed my boxing gloves so that I could be like really, so it would look, look tough. So it would look like look intimidating. I could protect okay. myself if that were the case, even though yeah. I really don't understand boxing thoroughly enough to be able to defend myself. I just, you know, like to box. So anyway, point is, um, is that this guy, I get out of my car and I'm like, can I help you? You know, like very confidently, you know, I'm not afraid of you kind of attitude, uh, but very, you know, still polite. And he goes, I need food. That's all he said. He didn't even say like, could you please help me? Okay. You know, he just goes, I need food. And I'm like, okay, okay. well, there are restaurants right over there. Cause I assume well, was like, he about to go into a diabetic coma? I don't No, No, he was fine. I mean, um, looked like a very healthy guy actually and so i was like you know i'm like i assumed that he was just lost and just aggravated so i was like there's food places right over there um that's a reasonable response to somebody saying i need food right and restaurants are right over there so he goes you know i need food and i don't have money and i'm like ah okay well that's a dilemma um and he goes i need you to get it for me and i'm like wow I'm, (laughs) i'm like let me I'm pollute sorry. your water. Do do I do I owe you money? Because I I've forgotten about it. If I do, I mean, if we've traded something and I owe you something, then you should probably remind me because I would be happy to repay my debt. And I could see why you are so irritated. And he's like, No, we've never met before, but you need to help me. Otherwise, that makes you a you know b word okay. and a heartless brutalist. B-word. Yeah, heartless B-word. He apparently yeah. didn't know he was talking to an objectivist. <laughs> I went, <laughs> called that many times. I went, first of all, guy, this is not exactly the building you want to be taking this attitude with. And <laughs> and second of all, um, your claim or your need does not have a claim on my life. So either learn to ask politely or, uh, you know, go. <laughs> 855-450-3733. Should Lorna help this guy? 855-450-free. <laughs> Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. 
Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-856-4195. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-856-4195. That's 1-800-856-4195. Call 1-800-856-4195. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book. And it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of... Where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because... I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your AMP will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855 450 Free, the, the word free, it spells out 3733. Three. And it's Mark with you. And Lauren Rumpler, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl. And Daryl. <laughs> a.k.a. what was it? Uh, Emperor of the Universe. Okay. There you oh. go. Riveting stuff. <laughs> First rule is you don't have to do anything that I tell you to do. Mark, if, there will be a change to my intro very soon. If I um, was king of the world, I'll tell you what I'd do. This whole repeating the names of uh, cities thing is completely unacceptable. I mean, the there's a Milan, Italy, and a Milan, New Hampshire. There's okay, a, there's also a New Boston, New Hampshire. There's like Mark. 30 Springfields. Springfields, yep, couldn't do that. 
it would require people to actually be creative right. and well, they, intelligent. They got the, they've got the names of mothers and wives. They can come up with a new name. As we learned this morning. Nobody is creative for intelligence. It's, uh, it's just got to go. It's Outside not of Birmingham, Alabama, where I'm from, there's two towns that were started by brothers. Uh-huh. One is Palmerdale, uh-huh. because their last name was Palmer. Palmer yeah. The other is Rimlap, which is Palmer spelled backwards. I like that. This is very creative. Um, if you go to Pennsylvania, like there, there's like... Five towns named Mifflin something. There's a bunch of cranberries. Mifflin. I like that one. Yeah, it's a name. Uh, actually, it was a That's legislator great. in uh, Delaware before the Quakers I moved. I swear I've heard that name before. But I, I did want to make one quick point before we move on. Yes. I think it's important that I say on air that I would have helped that guy if he had the asked. The homeless guy who asked you for money. Yes. If he had asked me nicely. If he had actually just even asked, it was you know, an order, and I, you know, what if he's unemployed? I already don't take nicely to people ordering me around that apparently have the authority to do it, but much less, you know, individuals on the street. My wife worked for the vocational rehabilitation unit in for the state of Florida in uh, Sarasota when we lived there, and that means that she helped people who had disabilities, uh, you know, get government funding and get jobs and whatever. Um, but there was a guy that she had that was basically, she, she explained, basically unemployed because he was an a-hole. I hadn't thought of that. And so if he was, you know, for instance, suffering from mm. a great deal of Asperger's, maybe, That's interesting. Uh, maybe he's got the broken mind and rather than a broken body and just can't relate to people. Now, I think that this is a bit of a crutch. Uh, it's you, a thought. You would... I, I have to say I would agree with you, Lauren, that you got to, if you want free food from me, I may very well give it to you. You just better be nice when you ask. Right. Give me the reward of at least feeling good about it instead of feeling like I just got a gun pointed at me and, and told to give up my money. Or I mean, it was it, I felt like I was getting robbed. Right. You know? I, th- I, I don't, it's the th- same situation. There's no there's no shortage of people that will intimidate you. You're five foot two, maybe. Um, <laughs> yep. Young lady. I'm not even five foot two, <laughs> but close. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, so just ordering you around, I mean, that's... Uh, the fact is, every man listening to me understands that he probably deals with men differently than he deals with women. He's got a different tone of voice. I can hear it on the phone when I listen to guys uh, talking. I'm like, oh, you're talking to a woman, weren't you? Just because they raise the pitch of their voice to seem less intimidating. Uh, so huh. you don't need to do that with me. But I mean, I understand. That's I'm just the thing that is done. that. Um, or, or they'll deepen it and talk a little slower to summon their inner Barry White. Okay. I just, I hey, know. Hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Very good. I'm going to take you out and buy you some lobster and some shrimp cocktails. Hey, hey Daryl. Nice shoes. <laughs> No idea what that it's means. That's an inside joke. We, we can't anyway, finish um, that we sentence can't finish on it. the air. We so, don't do anyway, inside jokes on um, Free Talk Live. I think that uh, it's important because objectivists get a bad reputation for being unkind. And I do want to say that this is a very isolated incident. I'm somebody that if, you know... You offer me an exchange value of either happiness or, you know, those funny signs that say I just really want a beer. Yeah, that's amazing. I give those people a dollar because it's funny. Yeah, that's and amazing. they made me laugh. And if you just ask me, I'll feel good about doing it. And that's value enough to me. I really, it's very easy to get money from me, honestly. <laughs> I'd rather see somebody busking that's uh, playing an instrument for, for money. Um, oh, yeah. I'd rather see them busking than just asking I for, for money. I always give money to those people. Oh, I love creativity. But I think that comes from being an artist. I'm just really sensitive to that stuff. Speaking of art, I've seen a, a really interesting piece of art recently. Ooh. It is in Freedom's Cause. It is an audio uh, audio theater, and really well done. It sounds like a, it seems like a movie. Uh, the, the audio from a movie just ripped to a CD. It's a two CD set. It's really great. I'm calling it the Liberty Gift of the Season. Um, it's in freedomscause.com because I think this is a really great choice for people who, you know, believe in the ideas of liberty, have young people in their lives that they, they you know, want to teach these ideas sort of subliminally because uh, it's historically accurate. It's uh, written with uh, some young people in it that go on an adventure and it's just really great. It's got high level actors, uh, 
Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, Billy Boyd from Lord of the Rings, Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, James Cosmo from Braveheart. It's really well done. It's got its own score, as a matter of fact. You're, you're not going to find any, any better done thing. You can get a family four-pack. That's four gifts for the folks in your life, young and old, adult and child. They're going to enjoy it. It's infreedomscause.com. Use coupon code FTL to save 50% off the family four-pack. Infreedomscause.com. Coupon code FTL. So, Daryl, apparently the feds are going to leave people alone that are selling marijuana? What? Uh, That's the claim. I have seen... Yeah, I, I saw several stories today, and... The one that I'm going to share now comes from AL.com, and it says- What is AL.com? It's short for Alabama.com. It's a news aggregator where they take from all of the newspapers in the state of Alabama. AL.com is then not producing the news, and that comes from someone else. Uh, Well, some of the stuff they do, they don't attribute to a- newspaper okay so i think they do have some right. original content and this doesn't specify a newspaper uh it says that it's written by lita gore and the email address is l gore at al.com got it uh so she writes the justice department told u.s attorneys today that tribes will be allowed to grow and sell marijuana on reservations even in states where the drug remains illegal The move could open the door for legal pot sales in almost every state, though Justice Department officials said that the transactions will be tightly regulated and must meet all federal regulations. Now, before I continue, I don't understand what they mean, because federally it's prohibited, so how is it legal as long as it meets a regulation that says that you can't have it? Well, there was a um, – th- before before all this marijuana legalization occurred, there were a handful of people who were had uh, were getting federal joints, federal marijuana rolled into joints. Medicinal. They were part of a program, um, but it wasn't recreational. But yeah. Right. It, it was a medicinal program. But it was just a handful of them. So maybe there's regulations that are there that are involved. I don't know. I don't know, but there's more to this article. 855-450-3733. You can call in with that whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. The knowledge of the ancients. Tried and true trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend. Crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Following the news this week that recording artist and industry magnate Bob Dylan would be laying off 2,000 workers from his Muscatine, Iowa songwriting factory in an effort to streamline his music-making operations, The Onion spoke with veteran factory worker Travis Felton, who received a pink slip earlier today. I've been working on the lyric assembly line for 25 years now. Punch in each and every morning, make sure the words are complex and poetic. And yesterday, the foreman calls me into his office to tell me that the company is reducing headcount. They're giving the whole rhyming section the boot. What Mr. Dillon and the other suits don't understand is that here in Muscatine, songwriting is all we have. And we've been doing the best damn Dillon songs in the world for over 50 years. And now they're trying to take that away from us. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Well, I guess I could see if they're hiring over at the Tom Petty factory in Hurstville. Lord knows I hoped it'd never come to that. This is the Onion News Network. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. We will discuss it with you here on Free Talk Live. That's yes. A- yes, we will. Oh. If you want to call in, you know, foot fetish, whatever it is. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> Did you really just go there? You put that on there. Apparently you went there. <laughs> You can't cross over. It's not the first time that I've admitted on Free Talk Live that I've sucked a toe. Oh, God, really? <laughs> this is it's really happening. More than I need, I can assure I spend, you. Daryl, Daryl, there are conversations on air and there are conversations during break. It's a rule of radio that you do not bring the break conversations on the air. It's kind <laughs> of like online privacy. There's some things. <laughs> It's better if everybody doesn't know. Yes. That's why you need, Daryl, to use <laughs> I'm just, Pro you're XPN. You're so great at this. In my brain. You're yes. so great at this. Pro, <laughs> Pro XPN is a virtual private network that allows you all of your online data to be encrypted so that, you know, other people don't have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Your internet service provider is likely saving all of your surfing history. And uh, in Daryl's case, God knows what that is. <laughs> Without ProXPN, everything you do online is available for review. And apparently in Daryl's case, he'll just tell you. So all you have to do is go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can download the app for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, even Linux. And then all of us will be blessedly... <laughs> Blessedly ignorant. He doesn't just tell you. He what? tells you on record so that it's on the internet forever. As a matter of fact, we want you so badly to keep your fetishes to yourself that we're willing to give you a 50% discount. <laughs> Promo code FTL50 will get you 50% off of, of an annual account. That's basically five bucks a month. <laughs> it's cheap to keep that kind of stuff to yourself. <laughs> ProXPN.com slash FTL, promo code FTL50. <laughs> that, I, I must say, Mark, that was the greatest live read for anything that you have ever done. Thank I, you. I see why people pay him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's kind of awesome. That transition was beautiful. So is the federal government only going to leave uh, the Indian nations alone in this circumstance, or is it going to be other states where it's legal to s- sell marijuana? What, what's what's happening Gosh. here? Well, the article the here Indians. continues. It says that the policy change comes following a 2013 Justice Department decision to stop federal marijuana prosecution in states that have legalized sale or possession of the drug. Colorado, Washington, Oregon, Alaska, and the District of Columbia have all legalized some form of marijuana sale or possession. Okay. There will be regulations on tribes wanting to enter into the marijuana business. The Justice Department said that they must maintain, quote, a robust and effective regulatory system, including prohibitions against selling to minors. The memo says that U.S. attorneys will still get involved in marijuana prosecutions when requested by tribal leaders. There are 326 federally recognized American Indian reservations in the United States, according to the Bureau of Indian Affairs. <laughs> so, it really, this whole federal prohibition on marijuana thing is falling apart. There's yes. still certainly states that, uh, you know, that they'll go after you for marijuana possession or whatever. Uh, uh, Florida comes to mind. They go after, you, you come on vacation, leave on probation. But, um, it, it, basically, the federal prohibition on marijuana is essentially falling apart. Right. So what it sounds like, based on actually you know, finishing the article, is that if a jurisdiction has said it's legal here, the feds will not come in to supersede that and say, well, federal law says. Yeah. Unless it's in California, where they've only legalized... Uh, for medicinal purposes, but because it's not regulated enough for the feds, yeah, you know Barack Obama is still going to send the DEA to do more drug raids in California than George Bush ever did in eight years of being president. California's basically rec- uh, legalized recreational marijuana um, through their long-standing uh, medical marijuana. But what we've seen- I stubbed my toe last week, so um, I need some we- therapeutic. Weed. The but what we saw there is is there was a, an article we read maybe a year ago on the air that sort of showed correlative data that somehow legalizing marijuana lowered gang activity um, and gang crime in California, and this was a really big deal in California. So right, that's uh, it's fascinating when you see these- right because why would I go to the hoodlum down the street? Who might shoot me if you know I shortchange him by five dollars? When I could instead go to you know the little green pharmacy and pay, in most cases, probably a better price and not have to deal with the violence. Have you seen um, any of the marijuana dispensaries in Colorado? I mean, they. I mean. They are nice. So I've heard. They are really clean. They're beautiful. If you ever get an opportunity, look them up online because they are really, I mean, they are, they're higher class than any bar I've ever been to. And, you know, I mean, they just really, I mean, they go out of their way. Coloradans uh, say that life is better now that marijuana is legalized. It's cleaner. There's a, there's a, everything is cleaner there. The poll done and, uh, you know, majority of Coloradans said life's better now. And it's interesting because, I mean, there are states where it's like, well, we just couldn't do that. It'd be terrible. And really, what what's so terrible going on in Colorado There's, or Washington? Yeah, all the evidence leans in the opposite direction. There's not a single scratch of evidence for the contrary. There's uh, 25% fewer prescription drug deaths in states where marijuana is legalized, especially for um, okay. med- medical marijuana. So, I mean... People are using marijuana. People that wouldn't otherwise use marijuana, because there's a there's a demographic out there, an older group of people that will not use. Some of them will not use marijuana simply because it's illegal. They don't want to go through what it takes to get it, and they don't know anything about it. And as a result, they're taking pain meds that are addictive and dangerous. Marijuana, you can say whatever you want to say about it. You can't say it kills people. And you, you most know- people. Well, I, I, I'll d- dispute that. It could kill you if, like, you know, a crate of it fell on your head. That's but it's not going to kill you by ingesting it. 
And a lot of people don't realize that you can you know, ingest cannabis in ways other than smoking. There are tinctures, there's edibles, and not just, you know, like put a bunch of it in a brownie and get stoned off your butt. Like, you know, there, there are actual edibles. Uh, back at Liberty Forum, I was able to get a couple of edible gummy candies. Yeah. That were from a therapeutic place. I think the edibles and are probably they the most, help my headache. The edibles are probably the most controversial part of the whole thing because they look and taste so much like candy that uh, when the kids get a hold of them, you know, the kids just can't keep their little hands to themselves. They find themselves. Well, uh, the, the, well then, the claim. I mean, we need to stop chocolate beer, pretzel beer, um, any other tasty beer or alcohol. Really, just it has to be straight alcohol otherwise you know the the claim is that you know they looked the same (laughs) but in the states where you know it's either legal for medicinal or recreational purposes there are regulations that mandate that the edibles must look distinctly different than a non-medicinal are you supporting uh regulations is there is that what you're is Mr. Libertarian? I'm not supporting regulations. I'm saying that there the, are regulations in place so that the treats do not look the same. What, how the, would the treats look the same when they're made in the black market. How would the marketplace handle that? Well, truth and labeling. So you put a big pot leaf on your you know marijuana you brownie. Think a pot leaf is going to keep a kid from eating a piece of candy. Just like the no, skull but and it's going to keep the parent from, from thinking that it's you know something other than a pot brownie. Eight five five four. They're also not selling it at the corner store. Eight fifty five four fifty free free talk live. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. (coughs) But don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four herb capsules, elderberry power and respirate and don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs normally $34.95 on sale now for only $25 vitamin d3 120 count soft gels only $9 whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs kidneys liver lymph and brain normally $26.95 now just $20 herbalhealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and weed, the road to freedom. 
a film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidavi. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Call in, talk about what you want to talk about here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Lauren, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl. And Daryl. 855-450-3733. So there's an article I've had for just a, a couple days here, and it's burning a hole in my pocket. I, I got to say, the situation with Rand Paul making the war declaration as kind of, do you know what I'm talking about here, Daryl? Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm waiting on you to defend him. Well, I'm not prepared to defend, certainly not mightily. Um, I, I think that there might be some political, like, did you get to see him uh, interacting with John Kerry? I posted this video at Free Talk Live, uh, pay, Facebook page. At I Facebook. did not see him Facebook. interacting Fr- with Lurch. Hold on, facebook.freetalklive.com. Go ahead. Uh, I did not see him interacting with Lurch. Okay. Um, he made Kerry look pretty bad in uh, when Kerry had to defend sort of U.S. foreign policy over the last 50 years, not declaring war and such a th- uh, these sorts of things. I don't know, like, I don't support war against Syria, but if there's This going- would not be a war against Syria. Or ISIS. It would be a war against, uh, quote, unquote, the group known as Islamic State, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria or the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. Right. So, um, yes, I I understand that if you're going to do military stuff, you probably should uh, put a declaration of war together or at least a declaration of use of force. I don't really believe in declaration of use of force because it's not constitutional, but it's not like the federal government's been obeying the Constitution since forever anyway. So uh, maybe they should write something down and, and limit it as opposed to just do whatever they want. Anyway, Walter Block... Uh, has written an article. He says, Rand Paul's declaration of war. Rand Paul is in the process of drafting a bill calling for a declaration of war on the part of the U.S. against ISIS. In my view, this is a magnificent development. Now, Walter Block, I should say, uh, before anyone goes, is uh, what what he has. He carries the title of the intellectual heir to Murray Rothbard. Is that the term that people use? I don't know, but he has the series titled Defending the Undefendable. Yeah. So he uh, he's certainly a libertarian luminary. I don't think that yes. there's any uh, argument against that. He is a professor at Loyola University. Yes. And uh, a very smart man. Yep. So I, I don't just dismiss his opinion, but I can tell you that sort of emotionally, I don't like this much. As a peace activist, I don't like it much. Rand Paul is in the... Okay, excuse me. Um, In my view, Rand Paul is to be highly congratulated for this brilliant initiative of his. Surprisingly, numerous libertarians have criticized him, variously for selling out, not being enough of his father's son, throwing libertarianism under the bus, being unprincipled, etc. Stuff I... I, Nonetheless, uh, stuff and nonsense, say I. His father 
basically threw him under the bus in a podcast with Charles Goyette. And said? He, he did not name his son by name, but he was asked about the declaration of war against ISIS. And he talked about when he was in Congress and he did the declaration against Afghanistan. And then he went on to say that when you're declaring war against an entity that is not a recognized country, then you get into basically having a declared war that will never end because you're essentially declaring war against terror. And there's no way to win a war against an action. How does a uh, nation then uh, take actions against a non-state uh, entity? For instance, the pirates of Tripoli come to mind. Uh, they're probably letters the- of mark and reprisal. Okay, so putting out a, bo- a bounty essentially. Basically, yeah. Okay, that okay. You win. Why is it so important that they're going on with Walter Block here? Why is it so important that the U.S. explicitly declare war? The reason is simple. If Congress must pass such a declaration before hostilities are commenced, then literally hundreds of people must approve. Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution says Congress shall have power to declare war. If not, and the present policy of police actions is continued, then one and only one person needs support this, the President of the United States. In saying this, I abstract from the possibility of his impeachment or the disobedience of the military, as in a coup d'etat, both of which seem highly unlikely. Likely, no, surely we will have fewer military interventions abroad the more people who must sign on to such a policy. I I can't disagree with that. The last time the U.S. declared war was 1941. Actually, 1942. 1942. Yeah, well, I can I can give that to him. It's not really, we shouldn't parse these things, but there were some lesser countries against which the U.S. declared war. In Romania war II, yeah. in uh, June of 1942. You'd think they'd had enough with World War One, the way they got creamed there, but they jumped right in on that one, too. Since then, there have been literally dozens, if not scores, of unwarranted imperialist ventures. Almost of a certainty, there would have been far fewer of these unjustified actions if each of them had to pass muster by Congress and the Constitution explicitly required. As excuse me, as the Constitution explicitly required. I've got to say, uh, certain writing styles when reading on air, they can when they when they don't flow like regular conversation. It can always be very interesting. Yes. I know how that is. Note how embarrassing this initiative of the uh, junior senator from Kentucky will be to the warmongering neocons. On one hand, they lust for battle (laughs) when the uh, other people and their sons take part. On the other hand, it will ill behoove them to so blatantly reject the Constitution. They will be hoisted up by their own petards, thanks to Dr. Paul. You know what a petard is? I have heard the term, but I can't think of the definition. It's more like mostly like a pennant, I believe. If I had to, uh, you know, if I have to call, for, re- recollect. It matters little, um, but the, the idea is, is that uh, you know you're you're taking somebody up on the thing that they said and you know putting them up there. Why is it so many conservatives support uh, the actions of the military when there hasn't been a war declared since 1942? Well, because Mark, you've got to support the troops. Why do the troops go to war when there isn't one? Well, because, you know, keeping you safe. Didn't they? We, swear we'd all be th- speaking North Korean right now if it wasn't for the Korean War. Yeah, North Korea, they're really competent. They can't even feed their own people. Um, uh, you'd think that uh, at some point or another, the troops that swore an oath to the Constitution would say, hey, you know, not going to do this. It's unconstitutional. No, but they also took an oath to do what they're told. They after they took the Constitution and the President of the United States, they, they swore to the first doing one. That. <laughs> that's that's what they're doing. So going on, it matters little to whom this declaration is made. Senator Paul has chosen ISIS. As far as I'm concerned, it could have been instead Canada or Mexico or Hong Kong or Switzerland or Monaco or Ruritania or Mars, for that matter. Where's Ruritania? Anyway, I am taking somebody out there screaming at their radio right now. Do you don't know where Ruatania is? It's in the fictional ring world by Nevin. Nevin. Anyway, I don't have any idea. Uh, I'm taking a talking principle here. When the Constitution limits foreign military adventurism, we libertarians must support this document. Uh, the, the point is, 
not who the enemy is, but rather that all possible obstacles to declaring offensive war are put in place. If a declaration of war is required, that is just one more hurdle over which the warmongering must catapult. And the, and the more of them, the higher they are, uh, the better. So these are the uh, restrictions, not the warmongers. Now, of course, choosing ISIS is totally and completely unwarranted. Yes, they are a grisly group, but it is no part of the business of the United States to conquer them. They constitute not the slightest threat to the safety of this country. And this is the thing that I would say is, is ISIS sounds for all the world like a problem of the Middle East countries. What, yes. Why does uh, why is the United States essentially going into a proxy war for Saudi Arabia? Well, because, you know, it was about a year ago when Barack Obama wanted to get rid of the Syrian president Assad. And now that Syria is basically in a war against the Islamic State, I refuse to call them ISIS because that's basically the name that was given to them by the uh, U.S., but there, there's, you know, this argument against the Islamic State. We'll get to it next hour. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, uh, I, 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 this is it's really something that's uh, it's 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 upsetting me. Uh, so if you've got an opinion on this, 855 450 free. I, I don't know. Is it a good idea to declare war here? Do you support Rand Paul's uh, position? Do you think this is terrible? 855 450 free. That's 855 450 Three seven three three. I don't take what Walter Block says lightly. I don't know about you, Daryl, but it uh, th this this has me on the horns of a dilemma. What do you think, Lauren? Any thoughts on it? Um, I'll have to think about it. Okay. Well, I suppose one should think about it when it comes to war. Yeah, I don't want to speak too quickly. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free talk live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. You've heard of Black Friday doorbuster deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidator's Floor Buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one-time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre-finished hardwoods, hand-scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top-quality laminates, and get 26-month special financing. Plus, get even more Floor Buster discounts in our stores. The sale ends Tuesday. These deals will not wait until after the holidays. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,229, silver around $17.06, and Bitcoin is trading around $352.28. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct Storable Food. 
With a menu of food that's so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day, even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat to get a 10% listener discount. In the news, on Tuesday, Senator Dianne Feinstein presented the Senate Intelligence Committee's summary of the report on torture by the CIA. Senate Intelligence Committee staff reviewed the treatment of 119 people, with at least 39 of them being tortured. The 499-page summary details torture of detainees between January of 2003 and August of 2003. Some of the techniques include water dousing, ice water baths, subjection to nudity, dietary manipulation, insult slaps, abdominal slaps, attention grasps, facial holds, walling, and stress positions. The CIA called the report inaccurate, while the White House did its best to remain neutral. A letter released through a Freedom of Information Act request has revealed that former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger pressured the Indian government to accept a settlement for the 1984 gas disaster in Bhopal. Kissinger, who was serving as an advisor to Union Carbide, pressured India's Prime Minister to accept an agreement following the disaster that killed 25,000 people. Activists in Bhopal obtained a letter from Indian steel magnate J.R.D. Tata to India's Prime Minister which stressed Kissinger's desire for a deal to be reached. Following Kissinger's encouragement, the Indian government agreed to a settlement of $470 million and dropped all charges against Union Carbide. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Tuesday, an Egyptian pro-democracy activist was sentenced to three years in prison for insulting the court after he accused the judge of bias. Ahmed Dama was a prominent activist in the 2011 Arab Spring and has been accused of attacking a government building and security officers. Dama called the charges political and denounced the trial. Indigenous groups living on both sides of the Brazil-Peru border in the Amazon say they're ready to fight with spears, bows, and arrows if oil companies attempt to enter their territories. The Matsi sub Brazil and Peru have been opposing Canadian-based Pacific Rubialis Synergy for at least five years, with little support or attention from government agencies. Villagers told Intercontinental Cry that they would take up arms if their concerns are not heard. The Matsi signed a declaration detailing the impact oil operations would have on the community and the environment. The Houston, Texas Police Department will investigate the actions of one of its officers caught on camera attempting to delete video footage after arresting a man who was open carrying a firearm. The unidentified man was stopped by an HPD officer and handcuffed for not having identification while carrying an AR-15. He was filming during the entire confrontation. After placing the man in the back of the vehicle, the officer can be seen attempting to delete the footage from the camera. And the well-known and widely used peer-to-peer -peer file sharing website, The Pirate Bay, has been knocked offline. That follows a police raid that was conducted on the company's Stockholm, Sweden premises. Today's broadcast of Liberty Beat made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. The zebra of the plains is perpetually hunted by a myriad of merciless predators. With no purpose other than to feed monsters, the zebra spends its entire life standing around awaiting a violent death. They are nature's ultimate prey. The zebra paces the earth, patiently going through the motions of life, knowing that at any moment it will end in a sudden shock of pain and brutality.
with its black and white stripes serving as an ostentatious beacon to any nearby predators, the zebra whiles away its time before gruesome elimination. Zebra, wait on the pantry shelf that is the African plain before something finds it and, at last, remembers to eat it. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind. This live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Lauren, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl. And Daryl. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. In the final segment of the last hour, we started an article written by Walter Block. And this guy is what is called the intellectual heir to Murray Rothbard. Uh, He is one of the bigger names in the liberty movement. When Walter Block speaks, people, if if only to chuckle, at the very least, they listen. Yes. Uh, He, uh, you know, libertarians are a difficult lot to uh to to whip into shape i must say but um and so thus when different luminaries speak others tend to ridicule that's just kind of how it goes uh we are a a thinking lot and uh usually that forms a, there's a lot of debates that go on in the liberty community yes so um i i'm trying to take what he has says here as uh you know I'm trying to internalize it and decide what I think about it. But he's suggesting that Rand Paul's declaration of war against <laughs> ISIS. I found this to be very difficult to uh, to, to swallow. I'm a Rand Paul supporter. I will yes, you vote are. for him in the primary. And uh, in, the, in the general, I will vote for the most liberty-oriented candidate. candidate. But I'm going to do that in the primary, too. And I suspect that Rand Paul will be the most liberty-oriented uh, candidate in the primary. So uh, when he talked about this declaration of war, it was it was a blow for me. I did not like that much at all. Uh, so I'm trying to you know, take what Walter Block says here. Some people are theorizing that he's doing this um, to uh, basically call out the state on shenanigans. Yeah, I think that, that that's what some people are claiming. However, what he's doing is he's attempting to, quote-unquote, limit the use of ground forces to a much broader extent than what President Obama says that he wants to use ground forces. And also, as Justin Raimondo points out, in a declaration of war, if it does wind up passing, the limits that he's proposing on the ground troops would never wind up holding. So... Yeah, it it could be argued that he's trying to, you know, hold people accountable and see who actually wants to vote for war, but he's going about it in an incredibly horrible way. Yeah, I I um I I don't know what to, you know. It it's all kind of confusing to me. I don't pretend to understand the in and outs of war. I'm glad you seem to have a level of grasp on it, Daryl. But I'll tell you what, um, it is not something that I have a large grasp on. All I know is that people that I trust have told me that he they perceive his intent at being trying to troll or manipulate the system into, you know, basically making everybody look bad. Well, if if they let's go on with what Walter, Walter Block says here. So, now of course, choosing ISIS is totally and completely unwarranted. Yes, they are a grisly group, but it's uh, no part of the business of the United States to conquer them. They constitute not the slightest threat to the safety of this country. Indeed, their rise to power came about due to previous US incursions into the Middle East that were unwarranted and unconstitutional. It's it sometimes seems as almost as if their main source of war material is the U.S. via its Iraqi allies and the moderates who are fighting the Syrian government. Stated John Quincy Adams in 1821, his 4th of July speech in the U.S. foreign policy, whenever the standard of freedom and independence has been unfurled, 
There will America, there, there will America's heart, her benedictions and her prayers be. But she goes not abroad in search of monsters to destroy. She is the well-wisher to the freedom and independence of the, of all. Remember, this is about the time, you know, the, the French Revolution is not too long in the past at the, at the giving of the speech. She is the champion and the vindicator of all of her own. She well knows that by once enlisting under her under other banners than her own, were they even the foreign banners of independence, she would involve herself beyond the power of extraction in all the wars of interest and intrigue, of individual avarice, envy, and ambition, which assume the color and usurp the standard of freedom. The fundamental maxims of her policy would insensibly change from liberty to force. The frontlets upon her brow, I'm not even sure what frontlets are, would no longer beam with the uh, ineffable splendor of freedom and independence, but in its stead would soon be subs subsist, um, substituted an imperial diadem, flashing in false and tarnished luster, the murky radiance of domination and power. She might become the dictatress of the world. America's a woman. And she would no longer rule the, be the ruler of her own spirit. So Adams is saying here um, in 1821 speak that essentially if the U.S. gets involved, even for freedom in other countries, in, in the name of freedom, it's only going to result in the lack of freedom here in the United States. Yes. And to sort of paraphrase what Ron Paul said to Charles Goyette in a podcast that it's about a 15 minute podcast uh, not all of it related to the declaration of war that was introduced by his son. But to paraphrase, he says, when I was in Congress, I introduced a declaration against Afghanistan, not because I wanted war, but rather because I wanted to hold my fellow congressmen accountable yeah. for actually advocating war. The proposed war against the Islamic State he says is different because it would not be a war against a recognized country and could be akin to issuing a declaration of war against terrorism, which is an action. That's to say it would be an endless war against an unknown enemy that could never really be won and would lead to more liberties being infringed for the sake of keeping you safe. So if um, uh, what would what would be the constitutional answer to you know, war in this circumstance? With a non-state entity. Well, with a non-state entity, if you do want to go kill people, and it seems that's what Barack Obama wants to do, it seems that's what a bunch of people in Congress want to do, then you would issue letters of mark and reprisal. What would that that's look what, like? That, that's what Ron Paul said should have been done if they wanted to actually get Osama bin Laden, was have a letter of mark and reprisal, which is essentially, you know, uh, 17th century speak for a put bounty. a bounty, an official government bounty on the head of someone. He had a bounty, someone. but he he was but uh, American go companies were disallowed from going after it. So right. Blackwater couldn't go after it. But let me ask you this: so there's a lot of technology that perhaps I don't want to see in the hands of Blackwater and companies like that, like for instance drones and that sort of thing. The government has for many decades monopolized. The weapons of war, yes, to the point that they, you know, they're the ones with the tools to go after them now. So, have they built themselves a situation where they can't put out a letter of mark and reprisal any longer? Probably, and I think it's by design. It's akin to you know all of the little weapons of war that they're giving local police departments, so that at some point in the future. You know, any sort of incident, you're no longer going to be capable of handling on your own because you don't have all of the toys and the tools that the police have. So they will be the only entity that you can call. Hmm. So same thing with the military of where they're making sure that they're the only ones that can get tanks and bearcats that... The uh, former city council members love saying it's not a tank because it doesn't have tread on the tires. So let's call it a not a tank. So uh, you can you cannot like you are prohibited from buying a Bearcat. 
That, is that so? Uh, yes. You can get surplus uh, armored vehicles from uh, municipalities and that sort of thing. Let me read what George Washington says. I want says. a not a tank. <laughs> can I have one? Oh, wait. But, I mean, I should get one, right? You're not a government agency, so Lenco will not sell you Why, one. Why, I say I'm a government agency. Is that not enough? George no. Washington says the great rule of conduct for us in regard to foreign nations is in extending our commercial relations to have with them as little political connection as possible. What do you think? 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand it's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger that's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent what the free state project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is it's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas there's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty there's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it but here in new hampshire people are doing it 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why Um, gold will do very well. Free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hey guys, Mark Clare here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the Ideas of Liberty Daily. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. 
It's Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. here. Terrifying. <laughs> what, that you can call I, in? I learned this morning what can be on people's minds, and it scares me. This is the... Uh, the- we did not have a conversation this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's even scarier. I don't even know what's in your mind. I'm pretty sure it's more terrifying than the things I saw this morning. This was the homeless guy that demanded food from you in a threatening I manner. Don't, I do. I, 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 you know, and it's totally plausible he could have been, you know, handicapped in some way. And emotionally, I, it didn't even occur to me. But I don't feel bad about it not occurring to me because you know it was one of those fight or flight responses moments for me. Indeed. So anyway, back to Walter Block. <laughs> before th- before we do that, let's uh, do some intense stuff before the show is over. <laughs> <laughs> Declaring war on people. Before we do that, though, um, you can go get great prices on gold and silver. Silver's at a, a very recent low, and I think it's going to go up again in the relatively near future. So you can go to gold.freetalklive.com to get some great rates on gold and silver pieces, coins, bullion, numismatics, whatever. Floats your boat. They've got it over there at gold.freetalklive.com. It's Midas Resources. We've been doing business with them for like a decade. And I've always been impressed with their service. It's and, gold.freetalklive.com. And, and you know, um, the holidays are coming up. And I just had a birthday. I, I do accept gold. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Now, let me go on with Walter Block's ar- uh, article here on Rand Paul's declaration of war against ISIS. But is Senator Paul, in proposing a declaration of war against ISIS, obligated to support such a measure when and if it comes to a vote in Congress? I do not know and I do not care the legality of such an issue. I am concerned only with the principle of the matter. From the libertarian perspective, as far as I am concerned, after the bill is tabled, he can always say he changed his mind. No longer thinks that uh, ISIS is a threat to U.S. security, etc. Certainly, that is precisely what I would do were I a member of Congress who proposed such a declaration. And I can kind of see this point, Daryl. Uh, if if it's being talked about, and it, it is in America, the uh, use of force against ISIS, shouldn't we then, whoa, 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 if you're going to talk about the use of force, we needed to talk about a declaration of war since the House of Representatives, uh, well, since these body, these governing bodies represent the people, we are to be talking about the things people are talking about. Let's talk about a declaration of war. Since nobody else is putting it in, I, whom, who am against the war, am going to put it in. So I think that's fair, isn't it? It arguably is fair, but at the same time, you know, it, it's one of those things to where you know, I think he's going about it wrong because he is wanting to declare war against an unrecognized entity. It's not a recognized government. The only other time the U.S. government ever declared war against a country that they did not recognize existed as a country was the Civil War, when war was declared on the rebelling states. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Let's go to Al calling in from uh, Bangor, Maine. Al, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? The question of libertarianism basically is a uh, left-wing left wing movement. It came out of the radical left of the 60s. You think so? Because there's I mean, John Locke and uh, uh, no. Bastiat, not exactly, uh, you know, from the there, 60s. There are two different sides to libertarianism. There are left and right libertarians. So well, it a- actually came from both. Yeah, I don't know whether it. Um, well, David or, Nolan, David Nolan, the guy that founded the Libertarian Party in 1971, was a Republican until he founded the party. Anyway, or, uh, he may he may have a more important point. It, on, it, was that your point, or did you want to make a no, different the point? The point is this: okay. that the Republicans, in essence, are a left wing party. You're all uh, essentially That's within fair. the framework of classical liberalism. I would agree with that. You look, that. At, you yep. look with uh, people like Paul Ryan, uh, Rush Limbaugh, uh, and they all say classical liberalism. So in essence, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, George Bush, Jeb Bush, uh, you, you're all on the same side. 
You come out of the intellectual framework, which says that freedom is the highest good of, man, of mankind. But there's a difficult. Uh, you think that difficulty. Paul Ryan and Hillary Clinton think that freedom is the highest good? Oh, absolutely. All right, <laughs> gone. She she heads the International <laughs> Democratic Institute, which is a uh, anything to do with anything coordinating coordinating body between all the Democratic parties. Around the world, okay. And they push the nonsense, the nonsense of uh, what's the counterpoint though? What is what is a conservative if uh, Paul Ryan and Hillary Clinton are both I, liberals? I would, I would say that if Hillary is is is, one, is a libertarian, then I am no longer a libertarian. Yes, she certainly no. I don't, I, I don't I agree. Refu- her highest I concern is I human freedom. I refuse to associate. There are very few people on this earth that I dislike as much as that woman. I refuse to associate with her. Al. Well, Ever. Who controls uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, which is uh, Maurice uh, Maurice Templesman, who is a South African diamond merchant, what? golden diamond merchant. He's actually the force behind uh, Hillary, and she wants all to right. spread. Uh, but it's a essentially you're all operating within this left wing framework of individual rights. What's the right wing? Right wing is conservative. You conserve tradition. Uh, yes. The best parts of our society. You think and that what you're actually tradition ad- is the best parts of society? Wh- which ad- traditions? Slavery. Like how, how far back are we, go- are we going to go? I, I, I have a very important let him, question. Let him answer. Which okay. traditions? Well, there's certainly you have Western tradition, which is uh, the most important tradition of all, that a man is gifted with reason. Uh huh. And that that reason essentially is uh, God, and God's laws are sovereign over man. But, but God's laws said that. not. Said, God's laws are pretty clear not to uh, not to obey the government if they're contrary to God's laws. And the early Christians were anti-war and anti-state. They were extraordinarily if, radical if, individuals. If no, if they the, if. Anything. If God is the highest authority, which I disagree, but we'll go on the premise. So if God is the highest authority, then why is Hillary trying to increase the abilities of the state to rule over your life and interrupt that force, that inner force of your relationship with God? It's really hard for me to communicate in a religious way. Well, that, yeah, that question isn't uh, wasn't the clearest uh, possible question. She wants but to know whether why forces. why is Hillary interrupting God's plan by enforcing rule of man why is, on, yeah, on people? Why is well, uh, Hillary supporting the, the state? Left, the left essentially comes out from the occult. If you read Doctor David Horowitz, I thought she was a libertarian. Oh, well, she is the left. I, I'm saying you all operate within this uh, framework of John Locke, the Enlightenment. <laughs> I, I don't know who you all is, but I don't. Every everybody who doesn't believe that uh, that the, the the Bible is law. Go ahead. Okay. Now the, the Enlightenment, the left wing liberalism in Europe is uh, understood to be essentially anti-Christian. If you read Dr. David Horowitz, who was raised as a communist, his criticism of the left is that it comes from the occult. It ultimately, it comes from the occult. If you read his book, The Roots of Bad Religion. Uh, Thanks for the call, Al. I gotta gotta run. Appreciate it. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. My brain hurts. Liberties from the cult. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. <sighs> I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. 
I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hard-working men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power. But there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at IJ.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind here. On <laughs> whatever is on your mind. Literally. Even if we don't really understand and what you're saying. You know what? In fact, contest. See if you can call in and say something more exhausting than the last person said. New contest. Let's play a game. So um, the last caller, Al, uh, <laughs> had uh, his premise was that essentially all political thought, uh, including libertarianism, liberalism, uh, what passes for conservatism today? So he mentioned Paul Ryan, and I'm not sure who Hillary won. Clinton, Hillary yeah. Clinton, By Rush, way, Limbaugh. Rush own, Limbaugh, yeah, got my own individual issues with Paul Ryan and his claim of objectivism. Thanks, thanks for ruining that. Like, like Ayn Rand didn't ruin that enough. Appreciate it. And, uh, but that they're all liberalism, and that the only true conservatism is uh, from you know the Christian conservatism. Didn't he also say we're a cult? Yes. Well, no, liberalism, the occult. The liberalism is from the occult. And I, I think this is all very interesting. So first off, my thought a process as a Quaker who is uh, also that's also described as primitive Christianity. Uh, the I, I know something about you know the early origins of the church. This yes. is uh, this was a group of radical individuals uh, departing from um, you know the the state and from you know current thought. So at the time they would have been considered liberal because they are you know getting new ideas out there right i'm now listening to uh, leo tolstoy's um 
uh, excuse me, um, I've forgotten the name of the book that I'm listening uh, right now listening to on audiobook. It's The Kingdom of God is Within You. And uh, in it, he's talking about the um, anti war roots of uh, the Christian movement. I just can't look at what passes for Christianity today and call it anything but the occult. Uh, I mean, you know, the vast majority of Christians and what they believe from what from what I've my experience growing up as in in a church as a Sunday school teacher, uh, b- being a you know hard hardline believer at one point, now putting all that away, uh, I. I can only say that my estimation from my look at history is is that the things that pass for Christianity today is, uh, at best, I would call them a bunch of Pharisees. At worst, I would call them a bunch of uh, Satanists. And I would actually agree with that. And you call yourself a Christian now, right? I do not. Okay, but I can ask this question. This is this is the uh, this is the the best thing to ask somebody in this position is: Do you consider Jesus Christ your personal savior? Yes. There you go. So that's how you, uh, you really? figure this out. But I, I do not use the term Christian to describe my faith because so many Christians have given the faith a bad name. Daryl, Daryl, I got to tell you. Now, I'm, you're an objectivist. Just for folks that don't know, that means you, atheist. I, I'm, I have to say I'm impressed. You know Why? Why? Because I did not know you were a Christian, and we've been friends for quite a while. By the way, uh, the Bible's really that clear. That is a good—to uh, me, that means that you have not spent your time pushing your views on me. And that, to me, is pretty awesome. I just got to tell you, I got a lot of respect for you. Let's go to Moses calling in from uh, Tallahassee. Moses, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, good evening. Uh, I, I want to chime in on— some of what you all are talking about right now. Again, okay. from, my, from my understanding, well, I'm, I'm not a, a religious person. I'm not, I guess uh, I'm just seeking knowledge, you know, and I've been led to, uh, you know, read and research on especially five major religions, be it Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. But um, and again, I've been led to some of the... Um, and Sumerian and Anunnaki's and all, you know, you know, all types of uh, research. But um, the, the, the Daniel Christian Bible mentions uh, about these serpent gods. Um, serpent and, um, gods? Yes, you know, the, I guess you know the, it was a. It's always about the, the serpent in the garden that uh, beguiled oh, yeah? Eve. It, was, it wasn't a talking so-called serpent uh, snake. It was a, a being. Uh, a physical being, yeah, uh, and it had the stomach of the serpent on the third eye, which uh, found in okay. the Egyptian pantheon. All right, and and Emmanuel Yeshua Jesus said, uh, "Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves." And he also made the statement, uh, "If thou and I be single, then thy whole body is full of light." Talking about the third eye or the sixth chakra. As far as again, uh, these beings of in Egypt, uh, again being new, being a, a melanated, a Negro, so-called depiction. So um, these are real beings. I, I, tell me who these folks are. Okay, Ezekiel mentioned four of them that he saw when he was taken up in this in this so-called uh, craft, this wheel within the wheel, just like a jet uh, propeller that propelled him up and. He saw four beings. He saw the, the one who had the face of a lion. It was the goddess Sedmek. She was the, the god of war, and her uh, symbol, her attribute was the lion. He, he also saw the one who had the face of a man. Uh, he did not wear a, wear an animal attributal uh, representation. His name is Ptah, and he saw the, the one who had the face of a, a lion. Not in the face of a, a bull or uh, an oxen. So are these like and aliens? That, is this the ancient alien theory? No, that's what no, it sounds like. It sounds it's fascinating. I've, I've always thought that this was a you know a fascinating no, explanation. The, Go ahead. These are what you call ancient Kemet, uh, ancient Egyptian deities, the okay. gods. It's, it's spoken in the book of a uh, Job with it, and all the morning stars 
sung together, and the, and the God and the sons of God shouted for joy. They celebrated. Uh, from my understanding, this is the true Christ Mass. Uh, these enlightened ones. They, if you look at, if you go to any Egyptian mythology uh, gods, you will see they have the solar disk over their head. They have a disk uh, that is representation of the sun, uh, which is called uh, Luciferian. Again, for a lot, lot of people, from my understanding, had Lucifer mistaken. So, so it's yeah. they're demons. Just, just cut to the chase for me, Moses. Are they they're demons? Not like demons. Angels. They, uh, from my understanding, the Elohim, the ones who came here from elsewhere, for, you know, who said, "Let us make man out our image and out our likeness." These beings. Again, you have. There the is a pantheon of, of gods that were originally uh, worshipped by the Israelites and like everybody else in that general uh, vicinity. It's uh, fascinating stuff, Moses. Thank you for the call. Let's go to James in Arizona. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, uh, as you know, uh, I presume Minister Edge said what happened 73 years ago today changed the lives of a lot of Americans. Who well, I should like to, for your audience to know, uh, the military-industrial complex and Woodrow and Roosevelt, let alone Woodrow Wilson, aren't responsible for Adolf Hitler declaring war on the United States of America. They're not the, pre the previously mentioned persons and, and groups are not responsible at all. In spite of what your pothead, um, uh, who's off off for tonight, might believe, but I should like to know. Speaking of a declaration of war, given what you know now, uh, do you not think that the United States should have declared war in cahoots with Britain and France on Germany in September of 1939? No. Why is that? I didn't Lauren? ask. Sorry, forgive me, Lauren. Anybody that thinks that date rape is okay if you're over at the man's house. Th their opinion doesn't count. But the Founding Fathers were on to something when they believed that women should have I'm sorry? Have right I said what? I'm alluding to earlier. Anyway, um, um, you, I, said it, you said it. rape was uh, not all wrong if they are on your property. Something no, that, that is effect. not what I said. But anyway, I, didn't, I wasn't asking you. I was asking somebody that actually has an education, uh, at least as far as history goes. I was asking okay. Minister Edge because I wasn't asking WPU or you. I don't want your. I don't really care for either one of their James, your, your two people's opinions, respectfully. I'm gonna think about what the question you've asked me, and that's not usually done on talk radio. But I know you'll call back, and I think we can discuss it. I tend to err towards uh, uh, peace, but we are talking about Hitler there. Thanks for the call. Then I'm gonna say. Whoops, sorry. Eight fifty-five forty-three. Are you <laughs> searching for your soulmate, someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream back pain cream at Walgreens. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. 
If you're David, a few well-chosen words can help level the playing field with Goliath. I'm Holland Cook from SurvivalSpeech.com. Recently, I saw a Yellow Pages ad for an appliance repair company, and the headline read, Why Wait for Sears? If you're going to the Yellow Pages, the Dead Sea Scrolls of Advertising, you're ready to buy right now. So this is an attention-grabbing message. And how about the plumber whose radio ad says, Call by noon Thursday, and we'll be there Saturday at no extra cost. Smart guy. Most plumbing firms give their crew the weekend off. This one gives them Sunday and Monday off. In the words of a respected advertising executive, cut to the chase, make it quick, and tell me exactly what you can do for me, especially if you're looking for work. For more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can give us a call in the final segment here. We might be able to slip you in. 855-450-FREE. I'd Please like to re- be coherent. I'd like to remind you, I don't see anything that wasn't coherent here. People, You make a claim. It can be outlandish. It's Free Talk Live. Um, or you can say anything, and that makes it legitimate. <laughs> uh, well, everybody is going to be doing a little bit of uh, shopping this holiday season. So uh, I'd like to remind you to use shop.freetalklive.com when you do so, because you get the same prices and the same service from Amazon and Walmart and the other retailers we have there. But Free Talk Live gets a little spiff in the process. It's shop.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Richie calling in from Miramac. Richie, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, um, well, actually, I, I had a question, um, but before I get into that, I wanted to point out that Pat Buchanan actually has a book, just came out with a book recently about World War II and how it could have all been avoided had it been not for the actions of Winston Churchill. I haven't got a chance to read it yet, but it sounds interesting. Okay. But that given, does sound interesting. Given James's, given James's phone call and his obsession with Japanese people, I thought maybe it's... Well, this um, time he was talking about German people. <laughs> yeah. But um, uh, my question was for Lauren. Did you happen to get that interaction with that cop on videotape? Uh, no. You uh, need freedomcam.net. Uh, you know, I, um, I should have. You know, afterwards, afterwards I, I thought to myself I should have gotten that interaction on camera. But, you know, I mean, I walked away. If you'd away, have put it on camera, you'd have gone to jail. I, I walked away <laughs> feeling... Not so. Good. I mean, I was a jerk. I mean, I'll I'll give you that I was a jerk. Um, I don't normally behave like that, um, because I have my other forms of activism. But wow, do I really wish I had had that bold moment on camera? Because it it really was like one of those coming out of my shell moments. I don't think they'll be able to mess with me anymore. Richie, you know, I I, I I'm I'm kind of hesitant on how you you know being rude to a cop. You know, because, I mean, they are people, and I get that. Yeah. But sometimes they kind of need a kick in it and just to hear that people just don't appreciate what they're doing and that they are not providing a service to people. Thanks, and man. It, it, yeah, if they, if they don't hear that, you know, nothing's ever going to change. Because 
quite frankly, I don't think costs in this country should be going in the bed at night feeling too late about this stuff. Richie, thanks for the call. Thank you. Yep. You know how I know it's the I final. I like him. You know I'm glad he called. <laughs> you know how I know it's the final segment. How the the calls are for, for roll, rolling in. Steve, you're on Free Talk Live, calling in from Utah. What's hey, on your uh, mind? I hope you have enough time to address this. I I was just curious. A, a few weeks back, you were talking about your train ride to D.C. with the liberal. Yes. This is a uh, uh, staff kind of, member, of a senatorial senior ooh, staff member. This sounds interesting. And I ended up sp- right. sitting next to him on the train, and we had probably about a five-hour conversation, one of those really sort of unique conversations where you're just so totally immersed in it. And uh, I, I love this. I thought, I thought guy was great, uh, but I got a lot of information from the dude. Go on. Um, spent an entire episode talking about people's uh, other people's takeaway from that and I don't remember hearing your takeaway from that. You know, what do you what do you see? Uh, do you see the liberals winning in in the battle between conservatives and liberals? And do you, how do you see the nation landing on? Ooh, that's so. This was the day after the Republican win, um, you know, in the, the the off election here just a few weeks ago, and he showed not the least bit of concern for the Democrat loss uh, because he said, "We've got the issues, we've got the demographics." We are going to win. Um, I I tend to disagree with him. It's because conservatives have always been conservative, and they've always morphed. Um, the what a person who calls themselves conservative today is different than a person of a conservative from a generation ago, who's different yes. from a conservative a generation ago. So I tend to think what conservatism is going to morph towards is libertarianism, which is the one thing that he expressed a concern about. He said libertarianism sweeping America. So, um, you know, that's what my assertion is, is that uh, don't, don't count out the conservatives yet, because conservatives really don't even know what conservatism means, and they will redefine it again in a generation. And most liberals don't know what liberal means, and they'll redefine it in a generation. At this point, the cons- and, Rush Limbaugh defined liberalism for this generation. And if you look at polls that are done after one of these, you know, like midterm changes where one party winds up taking control from the other party, the polls show that people don't necessarily vote for the party that took power because they agree with that party. It's more because they are rejecting the other party. Happens all the time. Steve, what do you think? That's, that's kind of where I was at. But I'm, I'm a little bit um, cynical about any nation, I mean, any of the states besides the New Hampshire. I'm, I'm on the Free State Project list now. Yep, thank because you. Because I see that Yay. as the only possible, yeah, I know. I see that as the only possible way to make sense out of this whole thing. I think that the other forty-nine states are going to fall into disarray because. Well, conservatives don't want smaller to. government, Steve. Um, that's the that's the big right. lie they told us our whole lives. Um, and at some point or another, you and I figured it out. Oh, ah, I get it. You're lying to me now. <laughs> exactly. And that that was my deal. I, was, I just kind of wanted to hear your takeaway from visiting with the guy. Thanks for the call, and uh, if, for those of you who'd like to find out about the Free State Project, go to freestateproject.org. It's the idea of moving 20,000 liberty-loving individuals to New Hampshire to see what happens, to see what they do, how they react, and what happens. And we've already had— We should have t- asked him how soon he's moving and to add some of us on Facebook. In fact, if he's still listening, um, add Lauren Rumpler on Facebook and reach out to me. Make your move a little bit easier so that— uh, you can make some friends before you get here. Don't bother uh, Daryl, though. He's busy looking at polls online. Let's go to Chris <laughs> calling in from Albuquerque. Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. Burn. Hi, guys. How you doing tonight? Ah, good. Everything's all, all's well. Well, good. Hey, um, I I just started listening to you guys about two weeks ago. We moved to Albuquerque. You're still dizzy. I am amazed. So what? You're still dizzy from all the things that you're trying to figure out about the show. <laughs> exactly. I am. And I am amazed how you guys keep a straight face and can answer some of these people. (laughs) Seriously, I'd love to be a fly on the wall and uh, after you show and just hear the conversation. I'd pay pay to sit there. It's it's definitely worth money. You know what I imagined, Chris? Now, you're going to get a chance to see inside my mind for a moment. I imagined that we were going to do Free Talk Live, and it was going to be a forum for the liberty uh, intellectuals of the world to call in and... <laughs> 
parse <laughs> out the issues. <laughs> we all have those dreams. <laughs> and they were, gonna, they were all going to come to us. Now, consider we were the warm light in the middle of the libertarian community for, a, for you know, back in the day. There was no other liberty show out there. Right, right. But somehow or yeah. another, you know, the Jeffrey Tuckers and the, uh, the, 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 the Walter Blocks of the world, they didn't see this as really an opportunity. Mark, where were you to warn me that that wasn't going to be the case when I started Objectivist Girl? Thanks a lot. Go on, Chris. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's um you know what? It's 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 a fun thing to do. You get to talk to a bunch of very unusual folks and uh, you got you still got to admit this beats the heck out of having a real job. And and some jokes <laughs> that some things that happen on this show are jokes for life. <laughs> yes. So, that- you know, to those out there that call in and say, you know, silly things just to say silly things, remember some of you end up being the butt of all of our jokes. <laughs> yep. Chris, as well they should be too. Thanks so much for the call. Keep listening. I'm sure we'll shock and appall you at some point or another. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> That's what I really thought, Daryl. I really thought that it was going to be a forum for liberty-loving individuals to to call in and talk about, uh, you know, their thoughts on oh, issues. Oh, look at you all starry-eyed. And, and you know, not so much. Oh. <laughs> but you have had Jeffrey Tucker on the show. I several pretty much times. Yes. invite people, and uh, we we do really great when we have folks like that. Mark, on. you had both Jeffrey Tucker and Objectivist Girl on at the same. time. Time. I would say your show's been a success. <laughs> uh, I got 40,000 downloads of the show that came after Jeffrey Tucker uh, interviewing uh, Nick Gillespie at Porkfest. Um, I mean, that is the, the, the epic <laughs> confluence of uh, Liberty stuff uh, in, in the world. So wow. It was, it was pretty impressive. It was a big, big download. That's amazing. Well, um, you know, Free Talk Live is a unique program. There's not much like it out there. We do bring the ideas of liberty to people who've never heard them before on more than 150 radio stations across the country. That's something worth supporting. Not the show, but the idea of bringing the ideas of liberty to somebody who's really never heard them explained the way we do. And if you're interested in that, go to the AMP, uh, support the AMP program at amp.freetalklive.com. Again, it's amp.freetalklive.com. My name's Mark. And Lauren Rumpler, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl. And Daryl. And you can find out more online at freetalklive.com and objectivistgirl.com. Uh, yes. And TV. Free Talk Live. Are you saying there's something wrong with a gay couple adopting children? Uh, absolutely. What, is, what could possibly be wrong about that? Then the children are going to be raised by queers instead of by, uh, you know... You are homophobic, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> no. I think so. But anyway... What's wrong with them being raised by gay people? Because gay people are unfit to raise children. Oh, How dare are. you? I object a lot. I had a friend who was adopted by uh, gay parents, uh, and he grew up just fine with completely normal values and he's a very normal functioning member of society i've met plenty of gay people in my time who i thought would make fantastic parents and would be far better parents than many of the white trash parents that are out there raising kids today tom do you know any gay people i i try not to but yeah well that figures and you're about done thanks for the call free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. 
The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,229, silver around $17.06, and Bitcoin is trading around $352.28. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct Storable Food. With a menu of food that's so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat to get a 10% listener discount. In the news, on Tuesday, Senator Dianne Feinstein presented the Senate Intelligence Committee's summary of the report on torture by the CIA. Senate Intelligence Committee staff reviewed the treatment of 119 people with at least 39 of them being tortured. The 499-page summary details torture of detainees between January of 2003 and August of 2003. Some of the techniques include water dousing, ice water baths, subjection to nudity, dietary manipulation, insult slaps, abdominal slaps, attention grasps, facial holds, walling, and stress positions. The CIA called the report inaccurate, while the White House did its best to remain neutral. A letter released through a Freedom of Information Act request has revealed that former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger pressured the Indian government to accept a settlement for the 1984 gas disaster in Bhopal. Kissinger, who was serving as an advisor to Union Carbide, pressured India's prime minister to accept an agreement following the disaster that killed 25,000 people. Activists in Bhopal obtained a letter from Indian steel magnate J.R.D. Tata to India's prime minister which stressed Kissinger's desire for a deal to be reached. Following Kissinger's encouragement, the Indian government agreed to a settlement of $470 million and dropped all charges against Union Carbide. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Margie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Tuesday, an Egyptian pro-democracy activist was sentenced to three years in prison for insulting the court after he accused the judge of bias. Ahmed Dama was a prominent activist in the 2011 Arab Spring and has been accused of attacking a government building and security officers. Dama called the charges political and denounced the trial. Indigenous groups living on both sides of the Brazil-Peru border in the Amazon say they're ready to fight with spears, bows, and arrows if oil companies attempt to enter their territory. 